This video will not end until I turn this 60 overall with zero badges into a 99 overall with max badges. And the only rules are no buy VC and no my career allowed. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself. Uh, this is going to be hard. I don't think I thought this one through, but uh, here goes nothing. Oh my god! Yo! 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 Am I a demon? Am I a demon, chat? 60 overall doing that! Bro, we in over. We in over. Oh, I broke him! He, he's on the ground! Oh my god. Oh my god! god. For the mod! Hit me, hit me, hit me! From half court! Oh, too much! Come on! Oh! <laughs> yo! Yo! I got paint, I got paint! Oh, no. <laughs> This is bad, bro. Yo, I can't even hold on to the ball for two seconds. He's literally spamming. Yo, Brody, you gotta hit at least one open shot. No, we need a three. Hit me right now. Hit me. Game point. I got this. I'm calling game. Game on me. I got ice in my veins. Ice. We are a 60 overall. 60 yeah, overall. 70 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 overall. To 99 overall, no money spent in this video. Now, obviously, people have done this in past 2Ks, but nobody has done this all in one video, and nobody has also done this with my career off limits. So y'all make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, because this video took a lot of time to record and a lot of time to edit. And let's shoot for 10,000 likes on this video, and we'll do more long challenges just like this one. Now, before we get straight into this challenge, let me explain exactly how this is going to work and answer some commonly asked questions y'all are probably going to be already asking me in the comment section right now. Now, in this video, I'm going to literally show every single game played throughout the entire 60 to 99 overall journey, show y'all that i actually did this legit you're gonna see me go from a 60 overall who really can't do anything kind of struggling out there to eventually getting my first green my first dunk my first ankle breaker being able to move faster shoot better be consistent and become a 99 overall at the end of the day now the rules for this challenge there's only two rules so it's very simple no buying vc and no playing my career i feel like a lot of people that do this challenge always allow my career that makes it a million times easier we gotta make this challenge difficult and just to make sure y'all know i follow these rules i'm gonna be showing every single game like i said showing every vc i earn and i'm also gonna be showing my my career stats to the end of the video and you're gonna be seeing those filled up with zeros because i did not play a single game now i'm also gonna be doing this challenge on playstation 5 current gen you might be asking why well because this is the only account i have that has no builds has no rebirth so i won't be starting with any badges and has zero vc so i'm starting completely fresh just like a new player would now let's answer a couple questions you probably are having when did i start this challenge i started on february 2nd and ended on march 25th how long did this challenge take it took me 63 hours of gameplay despite getting back-to-back -back games so some of you obviously might not get that but you're also going to be allowed to play my curve which i didn't allow myself to do how much vc did it cost it cost 447,395 vc just for the upgrades and if you want to include the animations i bought 464,145 vc and keep in mind i bought no gatorade or boost throughout this entire challenge how many games did it take to play it took 460 part games and it combined 69 3v3 prime games totaling up to 529 games anyways that's enough of the talking let's get straight into this video there was a roller coaster events that happened along through the journey and we're gonna take you guys through this 60 to 99 overall journey and let's start by making the build Okay, y'all, I cannot believe I'm saying this right now, but the road from 60 to 99 overall challenge with no money spent 
starts right now now i'm on playstation i have not played a single game of playstation all year so it's basically like starting on a brand new account zero vc 60 overall no builds nothing touched at all right uh, we're starting this challenge right now officially the date is saturday february 4th 7 23 p.m so let's go ahead and make the build we're gonna do this challenge on so a lot of you might not like the build for yourself that i'm about to make but this is the best build for me for this challenge specifically and i also think it's gonna be the most entertaining build possible for this challenge and i also think this build is crazy good offensively so you're really going to be able to visually see the difference of a 60 overall what i'm capable of to me at 99 overall doing a bunch of crazy stuff on the court we're gonna go point guard left-handed number one for d rose y'all already know and we are gonna go with six foot one you might think that's short but that's what i'm gonna go with we're going for like a play shot i don't want to play point guard i'm not you know i could make like a center and then make this challenge very easy literally just get every board but no we're gonna be the main ball handler so we're gonna go body shape slight wingspan six seven weight minimum we're gonna go 88 driving dunk so we can get contact dunks and get the michael jordan a dunk package and i have a 92 three-pointer for gold limitless range and you got to remember i'm not going to have a lot of these upgrades for a while but these badges i'm going to have max badges way before 99 overall so the badges are important i wanted 94 ball handles so i could get gold handles for days some kind of defense uh so we're gonna go with a 79 perimeter defense 78 steel because i'm gonna be probably guarding the corner a lot and i want to at least be able to guard a backdoor acceleration 95 Yo, I'm going to be so fast when I upgrade that. And there is our 99 overall six foot one build. One day during this video, at some point, this is what our stats and badges are going to look like when they're Mac. And hopefully we can get there at one point because uh, I don't know. This is the first time, you know, we're, we're just starting the challenge. Maybe we don't even complete it. I don't know. And that is going to give us inside out shot creator. The build we have chosen to go from 60 to 99 overall on 2k23 with no money spent uh, we are in the park for the first time ever we're getting our first notifications for our challenges and as you can see i'm a 60 overall level one let's go ahead and look at a couple things oh my god we're starting from the bottom hopefully we can get to the top one day 60 overall no vc i mean if we just upgrade a couple things like we only have caps to get to 85 overall but look at how much vc it's gonna cost yo two hundred and twelve thousand, and i didn't even upgrade a lot of the main stuff like playmaking defense and a lot of finishing look at our badges we have no extra badges we don't have rebirth or anything this is a brand new account we're starting from the bottom look at our takeovers we can't change our takeovers we have no perks either we have nothing unlocked now the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is spin our wheel all right we did we got some gatorade boost it's whatever but we gotta go ahead and go do our workout but let's go ahead go to the gatorade facility so as you can see these are all the workouts we have to do this is the checklist so let's go ahead and get those done really quick so as you can see i went to the gatorade workouts and i was working my butt off in here okay i knew it was time to grind it was time to get to 99 and this was just the start so i had to get my gatorade drills in you know i worked out i did all that stuff then i had to change my face scan as well because this didn't look like me okay so we had to change it and boom it looks much better then i headed over to docks to get my hair dyed red and yeah, well, you know, we were ready to go. It was time to get started. Only drew move that I used that I could get is basic moving spin because it was free. Everything else is literally default right now. I made a custom jump shot. This jump shot probably sucked. I have none of these bases unlocked. So this is what the jump shot looks like. And then gameplay animations. I put on Michael Jordan free throw, drew pull up Trey Young, spin jumper Allen Iverson, hop jumper Kyle Lowry, post fade Kobe Bryant, post hop shot Kobe Bryant. But there, that's just the free animations. There's nothing else I could put on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Trivia. Trivia just popped up as I was, as I just ended that last recording. Yo, we have to play trivia. 800,000 VC jackpot. Yo, imagine we won that. Like the video would be over. Let's go. Let's go. We got the first answer. Come on. Come on, we can do this. Look at the VC that's bottom line. We, that's our first earning of VC this video. Let's go. Come on, bro. <laughs> Yo, three streak. <laughs> Yo, our second guess that we got it again. Come on. You know my body, bro. And corner. That's that's not front row is in a corner. So come on, bro. Dude, I have no idea. It's Sanders, bro. Oh my God. Did we just get eliminated on the last question? All right, let's see how much VC we got from that. Let's go ahead. Look at our progression. 
300 VC, but I'm probably going to spark a stream for my first couple games. So um, we'll see what happens. So as you can see, I sparked my first stream on this challenge and I'm getting a couple quests done. We actually got to do like the little thing where you go around the whole goat boat, visit each thing. You see, I'm getting VC in the bottom left hand corner by just visiting certain places on the map on the goat boat. So that got me a couple extra VC. As you can see, I'm visiting all those places and now we're at 810 VC, still at 60 overall. You know what I'm saying? So we got upgraded the three-pointer just a little bit still a 60 so we have a 66 three-pointer and as you can see the crowd was going crazy when we actually started up this stream and got on the court i played with my boy key sticks and a random subscriber shout out to my boy biscuit who was in this stream we picked him up maybe you could have been picked up in this challenge if you're watching this stream so make sure to turn on notice but anyways our first game ever we're matched up against a level 40 he's gonna be guarding me okay that's how you know it's my first game the camera angle oh my god this is about to be a crazy our first game no badges 60 overall and as you can see i'm trying to get a bucky you know i'm not gonna be afraid to shoot but i gotta win with iq you see they're leaving me wide open i'm like you know what i'll, I'll pull it <laughs> who cares now obviously you know we got like basically the default jump shot on it's looking bad we can't make a shot but i'm trying right my teammates are getting the offensive rebounds but i'm gonna still be pulling i'm not gonna be afraid you see he's trying to bait me so i just you know dot the corner you know, we can get some assists out here. I'm going to need play making bad as eventually anyways, right? They get a bucket back. We're up three to two, though. And I decided I was going to first score my first bucket. Huh? Oh, my God. Yo, yo, yo. Am I a demon? Am I a demon, chat? 60 overall doing that. My first green, my first bucket of the challenge. Drop a like on the video for that clip. I was using Kyle Lowry hop jumper in that clip because we don't have any drill moves. I even posted that clip on TikTok and everyone thought I was faking it. They said I had badges. They said I had drill moves. They said I wasn't a 60 overall. They thought I was a rebirth. Look at me with the scoop lamp over three people. Am I not the best 60 overall? Like I'm literally going crazy. But anyways, that clip was so crazy that you guys saw my first bucket in that there was pe thousands of people saying that I was not on a 60, but I mean, y'all seen it. We're on a 60 overall, okay? We just we just like that, okay? Anyways, getting back to the gameplay, you know, I'm still chucking up some shots. Definitely a bad shot. I'm not even making that at 99 low key. Um, but yeah, I'm not afraid to shoot. I'm not afraid to get a bucket. I'm not afraid to really do anything. I'm just trying to win, okay? We hit key six in the corner, gets the green, and just like that, we're up 11 to four in our first game. You see, I'm guarding ball. This dude's a whole level 40, and we actually get a stop. I mean, he shot a late, but it wasn't really because of our defense, but you know, I mean, we have like 25 everything in defense. We're pretty useless on that end, but look at key six with the driving contact lamp. That's what I'm talking about. We got five points, three assists. I try to throw a lob, but I forget. I have no pass accuracy, so I can't be doing that, okay? I dot uh, key six back in the corner. That's another six assist, 16 to four. And we are going crazy. I mean, we're blowing out this level 40 team in our first game out here. We're getting our first assist, our first points, our first greens. Look at catch and shoot. I'm missing, but I only have a 66 three-pointer with no shooting badges, and I am chucking. Like, I'm, I'm literally cold now because I'm chucking so much. I don't, I don't know why I was shooting that much. Anyways, we dropped my boy Biscuit in the corner. That's green, 19 of four. I mean, it's a blowout, and it's also Dunk Fest, so we're getting double rep, and we're going to get some VC when Dunk Fest is over for just participating in Dunk Fest, so that's going to help too. We get the easy layup to finish off the game, and just like that, that is our first game. Seven points, five assists, three for 11, one for eight. Not horrible. You know, obviously, we're not shooting good, but, I mean, we're a 60 overall. We got that one clip. That was good enough, right? And, look, we're getting our first progression to our My Points bar, our badges, and we just gained about a little over 350 VC, which means now we have over 1,000 VC total, and this would just be the start. You see, we got a crazy crowd, and we're ready to lock in, okay? You know, I still haven't done a lot of things. We're playing, once again, another level 40. We got a long journey ahead of us. And I decided to get my first dunk of the challenge. All the way. All the way. That's my first dunk. I got a dunk. Yo, Jack. Not only would I get my first dunk, but this spin back clip is something else right here. No way, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm different. I'm different, Chad. 60 overall and put me on any overall it does not matter and just like y'all heard me on the street put me on any overall it don't matter you see we up one right here i'm going with the scoop lamp those were coming up clutch with the low lamp i don't i was getting those fast lamps i don't know how but yeah we get another dunk right there and just like that we've already green we've scored we've gotten a dunk and look at our first time we take over catch and shoot in the corner green come on i don't even have a mid-range 
and we hit that. I'm pretty sure that was a two. I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, we are now 2-0. and oh. We're scoring. We're getting buckets. We're getting more progression. We got our first my points upgrade. We still haven't gotten a badge yet, but we got another 372 BC. We're also getting some rep. I decided to hop off the court and get our first official upgrade. I want to attack the three-pointer ball handle excel speed category, so I get a plus one um, three-pointer, get a, like a plus three ball handle. So now we have a 66 ball handle, a 67 three-pointer. But we're back down to 16 VC. So we got to get right back on the court. Now, by the way, that little 61 overall thing on the bottom of your screen, that's going to go away soon. I had that up for a couple of streams. It's going to go away. But yeah, pay attention to the bottom left-hand corner. That's always going to be our updated overall throughout the entire video. But anyways, you see we're getting buckets. Catch it, Sue. Three? That's great. We're starting to get consistent. We're starting to learn the jump shot. We're starting to learn the build. We're starting to learn how to win with IQ. Because we don't have the attributes, obviously, right? So we have to outthink, outsmart the opponent. Look at he's jumping. I call him lacking. We going up with a dog, and that's a slam. Okay, up 15 to 10. Yeah, I'm I'm testing stuff out right here. You see, I got the AI hop jumper. I don't, I don't know what I was doing right there, but you know, we had to take over. We had to test it out. You see, I hit the pick and pop with key sticks, and just like that, we win another one, and we get our first badge ever, a playmaking badge, another 350 VC, which is pretty good. You know what I'm saying? But look at, we're playing a sweat game, a stage team. They brought up a lock and everything. And this is when I knew that my build was just not going to be ready for crazy stuff. You see, I get the first layup. I don't even know how that went in. We literally cooked that lock down. This dude is a pure lock. Look at, I have no unpluckable. No ball handle, really. And he was just ripping me all game. He was spamming square, knowing that I was a 60 overall. Talking crazy. He's got to take over now. Look at, I'm just cold at this point. I can't even put the ball on the ground. But that's the part of this challenge, you know? We got our first loss, but that's the challenge. I'm playing point guard. You see, we only get 24 VC. I'm playing the hardest position. We get another upgrade, and now I'm 61 overall. But anyways, I'm playing the hardest position. I'm putting myself in the position to, you know fail as a 60 overall bringing up the ball but i don't care that's what's gonna make this challenge harder i could have made a center i could have sat corner no i'm gonna bring up the ball on a point guard and we're gonna do this the right way and go from 60 to 99 on the main position okay so losses are gonna come and go especially in the beginning they're definitely gonna happen but hopefully by the end we have a good win percent anyways we get a green right there 22 to 14 another win in the books another 300 vc we're starting to get a badge or two, nothing crazy. We're playing another team right here. And at this point, we're just trying to get as many games in as possible here on day one, okay? Because it's day one. We don't really have anything to work with. We have we don't have badges. We don't have attributes. We don't have a lot. But we got to learn some stuff. Like this jump shot right here that we are getting consistent with. That's another green. 20 to 14. That dude's shooting some crazy stuff. We go ahead, get the lamp, and that's 11 points. And it's not like I'm getting carried. I'm scoring a bulk of the points most of these games. And you're going to see at the end of this video that I end up averaging around 16 points per game, which is way more than half the amount of points you need to get to 21 right so we get another upgrade right here and now we upgrade ball handle and three pointer once again just a little bit and a little acceleration now we're down to nine vc but we're at 62 overall and another thing to note is we are changing my jump shot and making my jump shot a little better as the three pointer goes up because we're starting to unlock you know better faster jump shots because our jump shot is very slow but look at this dude he's respecting me out here you see him like full court pressing me i'm getting respect out of my opponents already because i'm shooting the ball you know a decent amount for a 60 overall look at me spin move making him jump lay and look at key sticks lagged out so we gotta win without key sticks and guess what we easily go ahead and do that i had seven assists this game they were double teaming me like crazy 22 to 11 i'm starting to get some more badge progression again more than 300 vc again which i don't think is too bad but we get into our first crazy game playing two level 40s i knew we had to lock in so off the rip i'm coming to get the ball and look at he's already spamming square i mean this is crazy i try to throw a lob once again forget that i have no pass accuracy so it's looking tough he gets it in the corner shoots it misses i'm boxing out biscuit with the clutch rebound i can barely catch the ball because i'm such a low overall pass it off the key six that's an easy dunk and just like that we are up two to zero to start the game now key six is always guarding the ball because obviously I, i'm not gonna be guarding the ball regardless of who i'm guarding because i have a 25 basically everything on the defense categories two to two right here bringing it down the court oh my god that kyle lowry oh i missed it but i cooked it right there i unfortunately missed it which leads to them getting an open dunk so now it's four to two and i know i gotta you know i can't be shooting too much so i hit key six 
He goes back door, four to four right here. He gets a clutch steal. I'm going on the fast break. I'm trying to be a little passive here, trying to hit the open man because look at this ball movement. I mean, it's working. Oh my God, we look at like the old Spurs out here, six to four. And yeah, I want to move the ball. I want to be aggressive with it. And look at me on defense. I mean, we're clamping, forcing this dude to run out of bounds, basically. I mean, come on, bro. But look at Biscuit though, not being patient spamming his a button whatever it is on playstation we get an open look right here i shoot it and i green it i mean that was like a step outside the three-point line that's clutch nine to four we have a lead against two level 40s right now i mean are we really about to be two level 40s ain't no way right nine to six he gets another good dunk and look at biscuit he's like throwing this game spamming before i can even come and get the ball and now he gets another turnover but key six goes ahead gets it back we got plenty of time right here. I'm just trying to get any bucket. He sticks in takeover, and he rips him in his Bruh. third ball. Like, what? How did that even make sense? Nine to six right here. They're going to go ahead and get another dunk. And now it's just a one-point game. We were literally just up five points. I'm going to the rack. That's another dunk. Come on, 11 to eight. I got five points, three assists. Every single bucket we've scored so far, I have been involved in. 11 to 10, still only just a one-point lead. We got to keep scoring. Otherwise, we're going to be looking in trouble. Spin back, open three. Oh, my God. Yo, I'm cooking these dudes. I'm just missing because I'm a 62 overall. We shoot another one right here. See, I'm not afraid to shoot. It's a one-point game, and I'm out here chucking. Obviously, I'm not going to shoot right here again. We're going to look to pass. We find Biscuit open in the corner, and he airballs. I mean, Biscuit. You know, shout out to you for being subscribed to the channel. Be like Biscuit and subscribe, but don't be like Biscuit and air ball, you know, corner threes and throw the ball away. But, you know, it's, he's having a rough game. It's okay, but I don't know how we made that layup. 27% contest as a 62 overall. Shout out to Ronald 2K and the paint defense being absolutely awful. 13 to 12. We're playing good defense right here, but Biscuit, it was looking tough for him this game. I'm not going to lie. He gives him a bucket right there in the last second. Now we're down one. I'm throwing the key six in the corner. We're trying to get the ball moving. Go going but yeah biscuit open in the corner there we go oh my god he missed it i thought he was about to make it he missed it again there's no way biscuit down one three seconds left he's going to the rack and gets it to go they are up three now we are down three i'm shooting a fader i don't even know how i made that my first fadeaway ever in this challenge 16 to 15 coming up clutch in this close game we're down one we need a stop we're playing good defense. Can Biscuit play defense for a couple seconds here to secure this possession? He shoots a wide open three. Missed it. Key sticks rebound. Throws it down. I'm getting the layup. Missed it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, we got to chill. We got to chill. Back it up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I almost threw a turnover. 16 to 15. Key sticks gets the easy dunk. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take the two. We're up one. We need a stop. He's on the fast break. Look at me. My first steal ever, but I turn it over immediately and give up a dunk mob that was my first steal ever so our first steal and our first fade ever come in this game right here we're down one i handed off the key sticks i'm open on the wing. he passes to the wrong guy it's okay we got 12 seconds to work with this dude is spamming square almost pushing me out of bounds i hit key sticks on the back door after calling it out we're up one no threes if they hit a three right here we lose he's attacking the basket great defense we cannot give him a three i'm telling biscuit yo watch his step back he's been doing an old game and he had the two he doesn't take it we're still up one seven seconds can we get a stop right here oh my god oh my god good defense three two one there is no way to get a bucket here i'm just running down running down i got it i got it i got it i got you for the win Oh, oh my god, god. what is god, going on what is and as you can see like what even just happened right there like i had the game winner in the palms of my hands and i got like lebron chased down i'm going to the corner right here biscuit wide open for three misses they get the ball back how many times are we gonna choke this game if they get a three they win this dude's in takeover as well and they, they decide to just take the two which is like okay so if we get a three we win 20 to 19. I'm getting full court press. I decide I'm not going to get ripped. Give it a key six so I can get up the court. Biscuit for three, though. Biscuit! 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 Oh, my God! Yo! No threes. No threes. It was a two. We need no threes. 21 to 20. We're locked in. Key six. Do not give him a bucket right here. He's got locked. He gets the steal. 21 to 20. All we need is one bucket, and we beat two level 40s in our first intense game yet. Key six driving in. 
I have confidence in Biscuit. I have confidence oh my in God, Biscuit. He's Come he's on, spam all the biscuits in the chat right now. Yo, Biscuit with the game winner. You see, we had nine points, a rebound, uh, a steal, four assists. We get about 400 VC right there. Make sure to subscribe to this channel right now, just like my boy Biscuit did, so he could play with us. And maybe you will be as clutch as Biscuit one day. Anyways, we grid up here. We're playing against another level 40 right here. At this point, it was like the end of a season. I think this was season four. Uh, we end up, you know, playing in multiple seasons throughout this video, season four and five. But look at, we're stacking up the VC. We're going through game and game at a time. Look at the spin back. Oh my God, we are getting nasty with it. Another green, literally cooking out here is a 60 overall. I get another steal. I have a 25 steal with no glove. We get Tego right there. I'm really going crazy. Another green and another win. I mean, look at I'm getting playmaking badges. I'm about to get a new defensive badge. Another 350 VC. Look at 20 to 20. Do I have ice in my veins? Kick it out the key sticks. Easy dunk. I'm making the right decisions out here, being clutch with it. Another defensive badge, 330 VC. And we're out here on day one, you know, being aggressive with it. You see, I'm upgrading the three pointer to a 71, bottom to a 68, acceleration to a 68. This got 2.6K VC. And we are now officially a 63 overall, moving up in the ranks upgrading the jump shot getting a badge or two you know we have one defensive badge a couple playmaking one shooting badge nothing crazy 15 to 2 i'm starting to create my own shot more and more and more as the video goes on even though our first bucket ever was me cooking dude anyways from half court oh my god this build is getting different this build is getting different that was another clip that i showed on tiktok and people didn't believe me people said this is a rebirth build people said oh he's not on a 60 overall he has badges no i have at that shot right there i had one badge 63 overall no rebirth we're starting off brand new you see we're getting game after game vc after vc this ended up being our last game of the day we played a sweat team. You see, we were down 16 to 5. We actually came back 2019, but we still ended up losing. Being our second loss of the day. Not even too bad, bro, for playing two stage teams and one of them barely losing. 1500 VC. We're going to go ahead, try to upgrade again. And that's going to finish the day off at 70 or 64 overall. 14 2. Not bad. Going on to day two. All right, y'all, we are in day number two, and we're going to start with trivia before um, me and Key6 go live here to start our games for day number two. As you can see, day number two is here, and we are ready to start up the grind again, starting off with some trivia. We got some questions right. We ended up getting a question wrong. Didn't make too much of EC once again from trivia, but we did complete a lot of quests from playing the other day, so we're starting at 60 or 64 overall today. We got about 240 VC, and we also already unlocked Mama Mentality from the quest we had completed yesterday. So right now, we are still playing Park, but in the process of playing Park, we are getting quests done. Now we're playing with a new subscriber today, and if you want to be like this subscriber and play with me in the future, make sure to click that subscribe button, okay? We got another shooting badge because we're starting to shoot a little better today. You know what I'm saying? We're getting takeover a little faster as well. Um because we have played take now we switched up the takeovers and we're every time we get an assist or a bucket the takeover is going up even more okay so we're getting more fast progression we're getting some vc and it was time for our second intense game you see we're playing some sweats right here these guys were definitely locked in you see the first play i go ahead and hit key six he's gonna go ahead try to get a quick two doesn't end up working out, but we go ahead and get the slam to start the game up 2-0. to zero. Now, later on, he 6 dots me in the corner, and as you can see, that's green. Now, we're up 12-2, to two, but we end up blowing this lead like crazy. It's 20-18, to 18, we're up 2, and uh, our subscriber guards the wrong guy. So now we're down 1, 21-20. It's clutch time. Y'all are about to see what happens here. He just gets a dunk. We're up one. They get a dunk. We're down one. If they get a two next play, they win no matter what. So we have to get a three right here. It's a must three. If we don't get a three, we basically lost. This is crazy. Our first clutch moment of the video for the win. What is going to happen? Here's our live reaction. Don't disrespect me. Don't disrespect me. Come on, bro. Get him off the court, Chad. Get him off the court. I got ice in my veins. I got ice in my veins. I make the shots that matter. I make the shots that matter. Stop playing with me. Come on now. 64 overall. Get off the court. Go ahead and spin that block. 
You got, I got ice in my veins. Y'all knew all along I was gonna green that shot. 64 overall, it don't matter. I got, I still got the ice, okay? Not only that, but we would get our first ankle break right here. Snatch! Oh my god, he's twisted, he's turning. Where is he going now? We couldn't get a bucket, unfortunately, off of it. You see, I try to get the ball back. I fade a midi. I have no mid-range with no energy, so it doesn't end up working out. But look at once again, another. Oh, he's stumbling. He's stumbling. We getting some ankle breakers out here already at 64 overall. So just to sum it up, at 64 overall, we have already gotten an angle breaker, dunks, multiple threes. We've gotten clips, cooking dudes. We've made a shot from half court. We're cooking up out here. We're like 14, 15, and two. Look at me. Spin back three. Where's he going? Not only do we do it in the middle of the game, we did it for game two. Where is he going? Spinning this dude in a whole spin cycle out here. Only at 64 overall. Y'all got to admit, bro. I'm a goaded low overall. I don't got badges. I don't really got nothing. Right here, we're playing this post score. And I'm not going to lie. He was completely destroying our subscriber. And there was nothing he could do about it. Our subscriber teammate. He was just too small for it. But right here, we did have a lot of opportunities to win it. Like, Key 6 probably could have shot that. He also unluckily missed that dunk somehow. We got another stop. He missed an open three. It is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? Key 6 has one bad game out of every 100, so it doesn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? We get one loss, our first loss of day two, but we would get payback and revenge on that post score later on in this video, as you're going to see. But look at we're upgrading the ball handle to 73 with the 2.3 KBC we have, and now we're at 65 overall, and we got right back onto the threes court played some more games stacking up the vc we went ahead bought our first drill moves with our drill moves which was lebron size of escape we got our daily spin which was a my core item and then we hit the 3v3 pro -M. my chat was spamming throughout the first day and a half go play 3v3 pro -M. you're gonna get a lot more vc in there so i went ahead and listened and they were right look at me making that contested layup by the way out i am making a good amount of contested layup so far but look at our first game we only got 468 BC, but it was because of our teammate grade. Um, and by the way, the another th good thing about 3 through Prom is after every game, I can go update my quest immediately. So immediately I found out, okay, I can play 3 through Prom and get quests done at a very fast pace and really stack them on VC even faster, way faster than Park. We get another upgrade right here, 73 three-pointer. Now I'm a 66 overall. So we got, a, you know, above a 70 ball handle, above a, a 70 acceleration, above a 70 stamina, above a 73 pointer. Like we got, you know, some attributes getting up there in the rankings. But anyways, our number three intense game, you see we're playing a stage line. We're playing a sweaty team, right? They got a lockdown on me, so I pass it up the court. We get an easy midi from Key6. It's two to two because their guard got a dunk as well. They're going right back at us. This guard's going left. He's going right. He gets another quick drop. Four to two right here. And I already knew we were into a big game right here. Key6 accidentally phased that lockdown's in the lane. And this is a good team. They're locked in. They play this game a lot. They're high overalls. They're high levels. They're playing 3v3 pro am out here. They're going crazy. We get a good defensive stop right here, but I don't get the rebound. I'm sure I got a 25 rebound right now or whatever it is. And it's six to two. This dude gets the crab. He doesn't end up shooting it because we couldn't score. He gets the open three and bang, just like that. We're down nine to two. We're getting destroyed right now. Nine to two. I have the bar right here. Get the easy cut. Nine to four. And it's looking bad out here. We're down five. We're back on defense. We're trying to get a stop that we desperately need. And we don't get that. We actually give up a three in the corner. And we are down 12 to four. Eight point deficit. You see me in the corner for three. That's a bang, bang. 1% covered. One off take. I'm not giving up. He fades right here. He ends up missing. We get the clutch rebound. I don't know how I got that. 12 to 7. I got takeover. Baby face got takeover too. And that's another green. And just like that, we cut it to a two-point game. We got basically team takeover right now. K6 Garden Ball. We need another stop if we can get one. He goes out to the three, back into the lane. Oh my god, look at the defense. We are going crazy. Is the comeback officially on? Yes, it is. Back out to me for the midi. That's green. Okay, I'm ready to get this comeback on the way tie game we were just down 12 to 4 8 0 run look at key six getting bumpy they're calling for the back door that's not open he shoots the three that's not open we are everywhere 12 to 12 key six would take over hits me a little late it is what it is we're just trying to get any bucket we can get right here i'm trying to get a two if i can if i'm open for three of course i'll shoot it 
I got to take over. Looking for the dots. They're playing a ro perfect rotation. Baby face over those, though. That's green. Another dot by me. We got five points, a rebound, three assists. We give them a dunk. It's okay, though. We got ball. We're up one. They're inbound. And, and no. What is baby face doing? I was wide open. He forces the key sticks. We give up a back door because I have no defensive attributes or badges. 16 to 15. Key Sticks gets a dunk. We're up one. That turnover by Babyface was crucial, but it's okay. We get a stop. And look at Key Sticks getting a stop right when we needed one. Gets the dunk. Now we're up three. We were literally down 12 to four in this game. Now we're up three. We need a stop. This dude fade away three. That's green. That's chicken. 19-19 for game. Do I have ice in my veins? Can I do it for game? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. For the mind. Come on, y'all. Against a stage team? I mean, y'all, we're not even that far into this video, and I already have three game winners. Anyways, we got like 700 VC for that game. We got another upgrade here or here. Still at 66 overall, but we're getting that three-pointer up. Like I said, we're trying to get the three-pointer up. We're trying to get uh, the ball handle up, the acceleration up. We're just trying to be fast with it. And after every game, I'm completing quests, like I said, and we actually end up unlocking not only do we unlock uh the bat and mama mentality in day one we unlocked accelerator already in day two i thought it was gonna take a lot longer but on current gen i guess it's a lot easier we're doing our daily pick them as well and that's gonna be a wrap for day two at 66 overall at 21 and 3. Day three, we were starting out as a 66 overall with 63 VC, and I started to watch 2K TV, and just like that, I was already at 2,500 VC, so I decided to watch even more 2K TV, and every question I was getting right, it was giving me some VC, but sometimes it wouldn't give me any VC, so I was supposed to get like 25K, ended up only getting about 9.5K, so I started my day three stream by upgrading my build a little bit with about 5.7K, and that brought us to 67 overall. And we were really upgraded just about everything. Now, today's uh, games, we were playing with a couple different subs. Right here, we ended up losing the first game. So I had to drop one of the subs, pick up another one. You see, we're playing with RJ and my boy, Truly Blessed. If you want to be like them, make sure to subscribe to the channel just like they are. Subscribe. But anyways, we're playing this post score once again. We're down 20 to 19 right here. RJ hits a mini. Unfortunately, it wasn't a three, but we're in an intense battle against this post score again. We beat him once. We lost against him once. You see him in the corner, though. I told you I got ice in my veins before. How many game winners do I have to make in this video to prove to y'all that I got ice, okay? Comment in the comment section right now. Double H got ice in his veins or something like that because it's, it's simply facts. You see, I was stacking up BC though. Decided to hop off the court, get a little upgrade in. And this time I decided to upgrade my driving for the first time. So we have a 75-3, a 73 ball handle, a 70 excel, a 95 stamina. But now we have a 73 driving junk trying to get as close as possible to that 80 driving dunk so we can get quick drops off one which is the best dunk package in the game we went back to 3v3 pro am and now we are 68 overall by the way look at me getting 780 vc going crazy you see me dropping a bunch of points 20 to 20 another game winner that one was a little easier though just a wide open dunk and the vc was getting better and better it's all dependent on teammate grade so some games we just have to go for the win so my teammate grade wouldn't be as good but some games i would get good teammate grade because we win in a blowout i get 600 700 maybe even 800 vc now right here i could have upgraded again but i decided to go to this stage with key sticks and a truly blessed who's a subscriber and play our first stage game ever. You see, we're playing a level 40 who's averaging 16 a game. It's two to two. I drive into the basket, get an easy layup. Our first, I mean, we're playing stage and we're a 68 overall. Look at wide open three. Green, come on. I'm ready for the big stage. 68 overall, I don't care. We have 15 of four. Open midi, I have a 50 mid range. It don't matter. 17 to four. And look at me. I got to take over. This is a blowout. I'm shooting over to, oh, wait, no. I'm not, but hey, two for a dollar, whatever this, uh, the, the expression is, 20 to four, wide open dunk. That's our first stage game, and that's our first stage win of this challenge. And look at us, a little 900 VC. That's the most VC we've made at one so far, but we ended up losing the very next game. So, you know, we lost about 100 VC right there. So I was like, you know, maybe I'm not ready for the stage just yet. You know, I'm, I'm really useless on defense. I don't have quick drops yet. It's, you know, I don't have a crazy high three. I don't have really any drills except for LeBron's size of escape. But look at me. 
a fading three that's our first fading three of the video so anyways i decided to go back to 3v3 prime obviously we're getting about 600 to 800 bc again and i'm still doing quests in between every single game so make sure you guys remember about that i'm getting vc from quest doing the sam's quest and stuff look at 4.7k bc i'm trying to get that driving dunk as close to 80 driving dunk as possible we get to 69 overall to end basically almost end day number three but we go back into the pro-am you see we're getting game after game done just literally grinding out the three with the problem you see 600 bc 700 bc 500 bc more more and more and more bc just stacking up quests stacking up giving us even more bc and look at us getting to a 79 driving dunk a long road ahead of us though we went right back into the three through prime still at 69 overall we're getting some badges as well you see we got a shooting badge right there look at 782 bc that's literally insane sometimes we don't get 500 but it is what it is we go back to the upgrades 3.4 kbc and that is an 80 driving dunk and boy do we have a lot more vc to earn so we're gonna go ahead and move on to day number four starting day number four with some more trivia hoping that one of these days we can win the jackpot but unfortunately it was not going to be today see we got a question wrong but we upgraded to 70 overall we also got quick drops off one with a vc little vc we had so we are finally up plus 10 overalls we're playing with wavy and rj two subscribers if you want to be like them make sure to subscribe to the channel just like they are anyways we ended up going on a little streak and i played park this entire day um when it comes to the stream and i'm not gonna lie this is the day where i realized that i could not just only play park i needed to play something else whether it was three through pro am getting more quests done or getting my badges up or playing galleon maybe or stage or whatever because as you can see we played a little bit and i only got 2000 vc so i decided to get my acceleration to a 77 the build's looking really balanced right now we're at 71 overall right now we're gonna show the updated record as well 36 and 8 and 17 and 2 but clearly something needed to change and something needed to change fast going to day number five Day number five has started, and you can see we're already in the park. 71 overall, getting a quick dub. And I was playing with two subscribers right there, but then my boy Key6 pulled up, so we hopped up the court. You see I'm already getting quests done in the bottom left-hand corner. And I decided to see how much VC we have. We have 1,400 VC. Here's the updated stats. You know, we have mid-70s in just about every category. And we actually hopped on the randoms court for this stream, which would help a little bit. But the first game, we're playing three level 40s? Yo, what is going on, bro? Like, we playing some sweat ease out here first game, but it don't matter. You see, we got to take over Dot and RJ in the corner. That's another thing about play tag. Like, you ain't missing on play tag on the catch and shoot. So, my teammates really better be sparking. You see, we got a play bass getting 300 BC. We could look at us cooking up. Oh my god, where is he going? Five to zero to start this game. You see, we're starting to get money. Like, you can see already that the jump shot's getting faster, you know, since we've started. We're getting better dunk animations since we started. We're greening more consistently since we started. We're even moving around the court a little faster since we started. Look at us getting the high IQ pass for the game winner right there. 25 to 23 is crazy. But we're getting game after game after game. And look at spin back on takeover. Oh my God, that hand up ain't enough. 2% green. Another shooting badge right there look at us dropping a bunch of points too like you can't say i got a carry when i'm a little overall here like i'm bringing the ball every play you see even on a you know a close game right here i'm lining up for the catch and shoot i'm telling the key six yo dot me i don't want to dribble around and lose my energy i don't want to get the game winning bucket 15 points right there seven for eight we're just in our duffies and we're trying to spark up our first real win streak of the entire challenge we're getting playing bad as fast because we're getting a lot of assists. We're getting good, like 300 plus of VC, which isn't horrible as long as we're winning fast. I feel like in day four, we weren't winning games fast. Right here, we are flying through games. You see the VC stacking up, stacking up, and stacking up. And I'm not just re rolling clips. You can see in the background, like these are different games. Like I'm showing every VC we're earning. Now we're getting into an intense game right here. We're playing some decent levels. These guys knew what they were doing, right? Zero to zero to zero. We're starting off with the ISO. Get the easy quick drop dunk. You see the, the dunks are treating me right now. We're starting to get some better animations. Look at this dude though. Oh my God, what a shot. It wasn't a three though. Thank God. Two to two. 
RJ misses that shot right there. They get an easy dunk. So now we're actually down four to two to start this game. We're back in the ISO though, using the Kyle Lowry hop jumper, dotting RJ in the corner. What a dot. Oh my God, for no pass accuracy, I'm throwing some steamers. Six to five though, these dudes were just taking every two they got and it was working for them. But look at me finessing a little scoop layout right there. I don't even know how I got that off. Seven to six. I don't know how that dude was open again. I think that was my dude, honestly. I don't know what happened that play, but we're down nine to seven now. I could have had a dunk there. I'm stepping back. We have an open three right there. I'm shooting it. No energy. Oh my God. That's green. You can clearly see the improvement from 60 overall right already. We force a heavily right there. We're at 71 overall, and we're looking solid right now. That's the only dribble we have right now, too, is that LeBron size of escape. We're going to the rack, and look at the quick drops off one, showing off in fashion, being effective already. 12 to 9. This dude's pulling up. Ain't no way he making that. That was actually open because I have no perimeter defense. People can really just shoot my face, and I won't get a contest. But this dude gets an open three, and now it's 12 to 12, a close game right here. We get an open right here. I dot RJ again. Oh, my gosh. I literally had takeover. I didn't even notice. 15 to 12. They take another two right there. They're being efficient with their offense. They're just taking what the defense is giving them. Just like I do right here. 17 to 14. Three point lead. We got to get a stop. I don't know why I'm guarding ball right here with no defensive badges. But look at this dude. He's wide open. 17 to 17. I don't know why we're giving up a lot of threes. Spin back. Oh my God. I should have shot that. Fade away through. No way. I was about to say, if I made that, that would have been crazy. 17 to 17. Definitely a questionable shot. But look at me. Oh my god, I almost got that steal right there with a 25 steal. Step back three. No way he's making that. Look it. We are we are locked in right now. 17 to 17. We gotta get a bucket right here. We're using the Kyle Lowry. Going to the bucket. Easy quick drop. And 19 to 17. We have a two-point lead. No threes right here, RJ. Oh my god, he gave up a three. 20 to 19. Oh no, that's a two. 19 to 19. Do I have ice in my veins? 19 to 19. How many game winners do I have to hit this video? We're pulling up for three. That's green. Come on, bro. I'm locked in. I'm not playing around. Another game winner. We're on a 16 game win streak. I decide to hop off. Decide it's upgrade time. You see the badge counts. They're starting to move up a little bit. We got about 7K BC to upgrade. So we get to a 78 three pointer, but we don't use it yet. We decide to go to this stage and play some games. So once again, we're already in the stage for the second time and I'm only a 71 overall. Game one, as you can clearly see, we won. I mean, this is crazy. I'm out here. I, I got some balls for this. I was going to a, the stage this low overall pretty consistently. We win 25% as well on the 1500 course. So what, how much VC? Oh my God, 1700 VC. That's the most we've earned from one game right here. We're playing a level 40, but it don't matter. We're cooking up in the stage too. Look at me, my, my slow moving over to the right on the, on the top of the key, getting that three. I don't know how people are getting like, scored on by me look at me get another three right here giving us the lead 12 to 10 in this game right here it's 20 to 20 do i really have to get another game winner do i really have to do this i handed off the key sticks he runs to the right contact on bang on his head it's a, hey i mean it's about time someone else on my team gets a game winner we had 14 points that game 25 percent earnings again that's 1700 vc again i'm not gonna lie these stage games are already stacking up and we've only played two like 3400 bc is a lot for me at this stage in this challenge we win another game right here that's now three wins in a row on the stage we're getting some badge progress as well getting some bc we're playing this guy again who's already played us once in the stage we beat him in the park in that close game he finally comes around and beats us we have 9.9 kbc to upgrade though so we're gonna go ahead and get a 79 three-pointer that's our closest stat to an 80 besides our driving dunk and our stamina, which is already past that. And now we are a 72 overall. We do our daily pick him. We get all our games. We get a little extra VC from that. And we decide to upgrade the acceleration to an 80 as well. And that's a 73 overall after day five completed. Our jump shot gets a lot faster. And this ends up being our main jump shot for a while. Kevin Porter Jr. base is here. And you're going to see the difference in the tomorrow's day. 57 to 9 to end today. Moving on to day six. Moving on to day number six, and this is when I officially started my complete grind with 3v3 Pro M for a couple days here. Now, a couple days earlier, whoa, though that team name you just saw, that's crazy. <laughs> oh my god, bro. How is that allowed, 2K? Y'all gotta ban those dudes. That, that is wild. I don't know if y'all saw that. Anyways, but we started to stack up the VC in the 3v3 Pro M and combining that with quests. So every game, unlike the park where I can't hop off because I got a crowd, I could go in out of the 3v3 Pro M arena, get a quest you know unlocked and get that quest done in the 3v3 pro-am and just 
combine that with the VC I'm getting in 3 Pro-Am and go crazy. You see, we're at 73 overall, and this VC stacking was crazy. Now, we originally found this method a couple days ago, but this is when we really started to grind it and really just not play as much park because it was only giving us 300 VC a game. Right here, you see we're getting more quests done, and this is when I found out that Piper was giving out the goods. 1,500 VC? That's a lot to just get randomly. We get another upgrade right here. We're still at 73 overall. But yeah, we were just grinding through through Prime like crazy with some subscribers. Um, shout out to Diploid. He was one of the main guys we were running with in the 3v3 prime. He's a subscriber. If you want to be like him, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Okay. Now we're at 74 overall now. Now the build's really coming together. You know, we got an 83 pointer. We got an 80 driving dump. We got a over an 80 Excel. We got a 95 stamina. We got an 80 ball handle almost. Like we're getting there. 74 overall now. 79 ball handles. Still have not touched a single defensive stat. But this is an offensive build at the end of the day. I finally upgrade layup. Now, the only reason I upgraded layup was to do this quest that I had to complete. It was like five contact layups. We were struggling with it. If you watch the streams, you probably remember that. It was tough. 700 VC once again. You're seeing I'm gaining a lot more VC. VC than just playing park all that time. Now we weren't playing stage, which does give us the most VC, but we were playing through the problem. Look at 881 VC from that last game. That is insane. We're also stacking up on badges as well. We finally get to an 80 ball handle, which means we are at 75 overall, 80 Excel, 80 ball handle, 80 dunk, 83 pointer. We are starting to become a well-rounded build. You see, we're still grinding the quest. We're getting VC from that. We upgrade our acceleration to an 82, and that's gonna do it for day number six. Looking well-rounded, moving on to day number seven. Day number seven in here, and this is probably one of the most important days of this entire challenge. You're seeing me doing a, showing a bunch of clips right now, just going through a bunch of quests, and I was grinding these quests. This is the first and only day I grinded a lot off stream. You see, we're even going into the 1v1 galleon to complete some of these quests because I didn't have any teammates because I wasn't live. And this is our first 1v1 galleon, you know, playing time at all this whole video. 75 overall, no defense, basically no defensive badges as well, because if you guys know in this game, you need attributes to put on badges which is another reason why this grind is a lot harder because you can't equip you know badges because you have them unlocked you have to have the attributes for them as well so i don't really have any defensive badges either but look at me cooking up i was destroying this boy on the 1v1 court so we're getting vc from the 1v1 court we're getting vc from completing these quests in the galleon look at the bottom left you see a bunch of quests going off i'm just completing all these quests stacking up the vc from there going back into the galleon doing that as well not only that but there was an event going on in the park that was double the badge points. So as soon as I was grinding this 1v1 gallon, I knew I had to go into that and start grinding some badges while I had the chance to get double the progression because I knew it would help me out in the long run. So we're at 75 overall to start this day. Remember that, okay? We're getting a bunch of VC right now. Look at 750 VC, 500 VC. We're completing these quests immediately. You see in the bottom left-hand corner, the quest completions are popping up all the time. We get another quest right there. And then I hop into the park with two complete random subscribers that join off me, and this game was pretty intense. We give up a two off the rip. This dude, for some reason, was setting screens, and it was pissing me off because I wanted to ISO. And he kept setting screens, and he misses the pick and pop. We get the ball back, and they're playing no defense. Look at, look at the spacing. He's, like, running towards me. It was very confusing what my teammates were doing, and it was very frustrating. I try to help right here, and I actually get a stop. Four to two, this dude's still setting me screens, so I pass him the ball because clearly he wants the ball off the pick and pop. He doesn't really do anything with it. He's still setting me screens, which I don't really like. Uh, we try to get an open shot right there, and we actually almost make that. That was a pretty open shot, but not enough to make it. We try to get a stop right here. They're just forcing it up on me, and I have no defense, so it's going to work. Six to two. I even try to, you know, let the guy know, like, don't set a screen. I'm, like, trying to back up, like, waiting for him to go away. Finally goes away. I don't get anything there. Back out to him. He passes it out to me, even though he had an open dunk. Open pop right here. Doesn't shoot it. I'm just very confused what's going on. We get a shot clock violation after not taking up any of those open shots. Now we're down 8 to 2. Because we're also giving up a wide open dunk every play. I dot him right here. Wide open 3. He actually makes it. So I'm like, okay. We're only down 3. We need to start playing some defense though. So I try to get a stop right here. And I had to help. End up giving a 3. So yeah, that's my fault. But I wanted to get a stop, okay? End up getting an open three right here. I get it to go. So we were down 11 to five. Now it's 11 to eight, but we need stops and we're not getting them. Down 13 to eight. I take my easy two right here. I'm like, eventually we have to get a stop, right? 
And this dude just getting blown by every play. Another dunk, 15 to 10. I'm finally in takeover. I'm trying to fight for a three because I know we need him. I shoot a fade and oh my God, that's green. But it wasn't a three. 15 to 12, look at the defense. He goes for a block, gets a steal. I pass it to him because I know we're just like, okay, take my points and get out of here. 15 to 14, we're leaving this dude open. I'm like, yo, step up, step up. Doesn't step up on sharp take. Gives up a three. So now we're not 18 to 14. It's looking like it's impossible. I'm getting face guarded. So I take my two, 18 to 16. We need to stop that we haven't gotten basically all game right here. Almost got that lane steal with a 25 steal. I'm guarding ISO. Get a bump. He passes it off. He's playing good defense. I'm like, oh my God, 10 more seconds. Please play for a stop. He goes up for the contact and he blocks the green dunk. Finally, we get some kind of defense just to give up back to our immediately. So we still have zero stops all game, basically. 20 to 16. I shoot a three right here. Oh my God. Oh, 28%. No good. 20 to 16. That's probably going to do it right here for our first loss. He goes for the dunk and he missed it. He missed the dunk. I'm going down. Easy two, 20 to 18. There's no way we can do this right. Another stop. He misses. He missed it. He missed it. We get the board. 20 to 18. I'm in takeover. If we get a three, that would be nice. No one's guarding me from the logo. Not from the logo. From the logo. 21 to 20. No threes. I'm picking up on the PNR. We're not, we cannot give a three. They go for a dunk. They take it. He missed it. He missed another dunk. Oh my God. Open three. What is going on? What is going on? Can we get a rebound? What is happening? He missed a three. He missed a dunk. We still didn't get a stop though. 21 to 20. He has the open three in the corner, but they take the two. 22 to 21. He throws it down court. What is he doing? That was almost a turnover. I'm winning in the back court. Like, yo, give me the ball. He almost goes up with that. Yo, yo, he's juggling the ball around. Gives it to me. Wide up in three. Ice in my veins. Oh my God. What a game. 24 points that game. We get in quest done. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner. You see we get in double the badge progression as well. What a game with those random subscribers. That was so intense. But yes, we're getting double the badge progression. So I knew I needed to grind this out. And I ended up grinding a bunch of games off stream right here you see all the quests popping in the bottom left here's a little badge count update we can't equip all the badges yet because once again we don't have the ratings for a lot of these badges but we're at 75 overall with about 6k vc i decided to keep grinding quests without upgrading keep playing a little galleon keep equipping all these quests playing this double badge progression event now if you see if i got like top whatever i would have gotten like 25k vc but i couldn't do that Anyways, we're 86 and 13, 28 and 9 and 3 with the Pro-Am for a record update. We get back in the Galleon to attempt to complete more quests. We're getting some greens. We're getting some wins. Surprisingly, I was winning as a 75 overall with no defense in the Galleon. Not sure that was even possible. But look at all the quests popping on the bottom left. And eventually, we finish the Sam quest, get plus four badges for that. So I end up putting them on shooting right here. And we have 24,000 VC after streaking up a lot more threes games um, with subscribers in the double badge progression event. And after deciding, I decided to go with an 85 ball handle, 90 acceleration, jumping from 75 overall all the way to 79 overall. An absolute massive jump during this double badge progression event. And look at all the badges I have now. I have a lot of defensive badges I got equip, but once again, I don't have the stats for him, so I couldn't put him on. We end up equipping a couple dribble moves too. Gabby Williams dribble style, Russell Westbrook crossover. And we go right back into the galleon. This was on stream, of course. 21 0 in this game, shooting threes over people. I mean, we were winning pretty consistently. Yes, you see, we got some losses as well, but we're on a 6 1 with no defense. Okay, that's going to happen in the 1v1 court. Ends up reaching 80 overall, though, here in day seven already. I mean, we're almost halfway there overall wise. Anyways, we jump into the 3v3 Pro M after absolutely destroying it uh, we're playing with diploid and jay curry two subscribers as well if you want to be like them and play with me maybe one day make sure you're subscribed to the channel just like them anyways we actually 23 0 game that game that's crazy i'm not gonna lie getting 23 0 by an 80 overall at point guard is wild but anyways from here on out i was like okay we have five and a half thousand vc what i'm gonna do is i'm going to have a plan to only upgrade my three-pointer until it's max so i started that plan at an 83 pointer you see now we have an 81 now we're upgrading it to an 82. So I was going to keep upgrading my three-pointer only until it was maxed out, which is at a 92 three-pointer. And you're going to notice that the three-pointer um, going up plus one eventually like starts being the same cost, the same amount of VC every upgrade. 
Um, but yeah, we're getting spin dunks. We're getting layups. We're completing these quests at the same time. Look at, oh my, the filet. I mean, we are looking out here in the 3v3 pro. I'm going over here. Fade away three greens. I mean, now we can fade a little bit. The three-pointer is going up a little. We're at an 82 three-pointer. We can start to shoot some crazier shots. You see, we're stacking up the VC. It's just racking up, stacking up. You see, we already have 4,000 VC once again, but we don't have enough to get that plus one three-pointer again. So I'm like, how can I get like this 50 extra VC? So I went into the my core with my down bad my player and got the little VC you get in the bottom left for like shooting in the my core and then got enough to upgrade. So 80 overall to end off day seven. We're desperate for any kind of VC going forward. Day number eight is here, and I'm feeling lucky at this daily wheel, and we actually do get lucky. 500 VC the first time we ever got VC on our daily prize. We end up going through the daily pick -em, picking up a couple subscribers right here, like my boy Wavy and RJ. If you want to be like them, make sure you're subscribed to the channel just like them. And look at us shooting another game winner. I mean, somebody's got to count out the total of game winners we even show in this video. Probably even had any, even more that I didn't show. But look at us stacking up, racking up that VC. You already know the drill. First day, we starting at an 80 overall. We then go ahead, after playing a little part, head into the 3v3 Pro-Am, and we get it started up in here. It's time to go crazy and rack up and stack out that VC. 600 VC, 700 VC, and look at that. We have enough for the plus one three-pointer, because like I said in yesterday's uh, day, we're going plus one three-pointer every time until we get to a 92 three-pointer, and that's all I'm doing. And you see, we're still racking up, stacking up VC for hours and hours, and this is where we're ending off 81 overall 94 and 17 41 and 30 41 and 13 we have a lot left to grind to say the least moving on to day number nine Number nine is here. I picked up Biscuit. I picked up Diploid. Two subscribers to play some part to start off the day. And look at us cook it up. I'm starting to fade pretty consistently now with an 84, 85 three-pointer. We're starting to go crazy. You guys can clearly see the progression in the build. We're shooting almost automatic when we're open. We're starting to fade. We're getting double team two. Like, I literally had to call for the back door right there. Like, at 18, 11. Where is that boy going? Oh, my God. God, find him a map 18 to 18 lebron james with lock take on me don't worry about it oh wait no you're gonna have to worry about it oh my god that was crazy yo what's gonna happen we gonna stop though lebron james chokes biscuit with the rebound i got the ball y'all already know ice in my veins how many game winners do i need from half court oh my gosh this build is too devious and then we started stacking up the VC. Look at him dropping the old 21 points that one game. I'm carrying my subscribers out here to wins and helping them streak up all while doing this challenge. Who else is doing that? 81 overall. We're going up another three-pointer. Now we have an 85 three-pointer. And after playing a little park, decided to go to the 3-3 Pro, of course, with two of the same subscribers. We going crazy, you know? We ready to go. Look at me doing post fades to complete some quests. Because once again, we are combining these quests. VC with the 3v3 pro on BC and it was going crazy and now I'm consistently fading and this is what I love about this video is you can clearly visually see my build getting better day by day as I am starting to do more things look at Piper handing me some more VC another 1500 shout out to Piper right there 86 three-pointer now and now we're gonna be in 82 overall to end off day number nine a over a hundred wins now as well it's looking like we're starting to crack into this 99. Day number 10 underway, and we are starting with the daily pick'em and going straight into 3v3 Pro-Am. We are at 82 overall to start today, and we're playing with the subs Wavy and Diploid, getting right, throwing lob. That's actually our first lob we've thrown. I mean, I have no pass accuracy but still, but... Hey, it works. So we get our quest done. We get our VC up from, of course, the 3v3 Proms games themselves. 700 VC from that game, 500 VC from that game. And then we get to this game right here. Our second intense 3v3 Prom game. Playing some decent guys, but they knew what they were doing right now. Out the gate, I'm trying to look for. Oh my God, what a horrible shot. 
that leads to them getting a fast break. That was just a bad shot. I'm not going to lie. I couldn't pass out of it because, you know, I don't have bailout. I don't have pass here. See, so it would have been a turnover. That's another disadvantage with this build. And it's overall right now. Now we end up getting dunked on right there. Uh, so two to zero. I'm back on the ice. So get a layup right back. So now it's back and tie that two. And we got to get a stop. But look at this defense. Like my teammates were full court pressing. It's also kind of confusing with the red shirts in 3 with your promo on current gen. I don't know what 2K got going on with that. It is what it is. I hit way wide open for three and he misses. Those corner threes are going to bite us at the end of this game because we need them. Down four to two. I'm trying to get a two. This dude's jumping. The corner's wide open, but I go ahead and take the easy guaranteed layup instead. Tied at four. I leave my guy open for a three, and he hits it. So now we're down seven to four. Just bad defense all around. But I go for another two, and I'm taking our buckets. And good thing I was taking our buckets early on because we definitely needed them. Seven to six. I don't know how we giving up buckets like that. That's open, too. I low-key thought it was contested, but look at our defense. Like, where is my center at, yo? 12-6 to 6 because our defense is awful and our offense isn't consistent enough. I'm trying to get an open three here. I end up do getting a 2% green, so that was much needed. 12-9, to 9, trying to get one stop. And look at a stop. We don't get the rebound, though. He goes up again and gets the layup. So it's like, damn, bro, we can't get a stop for our life. 14-9, to 9, I dot the corner. Wavy once again, and he missed again. We could literally be winning right now, but instead we're down 16 to 9 against this team. They got two guys to take over. I'm going to go ahead and take our easy two and trust our awful defense so far. 16 to 11. He's jumping wide open with taking. Thank God he missed that. I mean, he makes that. It's probably GG. I'm taking, oh my God, the dot to the corner. It's a midi though, and he missed. Yo, I'm getting sold right now by my subs. This dude has a wide open three. He misses. I mean, what is happening? Everyone's just, we're just trading wide open misses. I get this contact layup to go somehow. 16 to 13. He's got takeover wide open. I mean, he's just cooking, but he missed again. This team is single-handedly selling themselves out of this game. They're still up three. I dot the corner again. There's no way he misses again, right? Okay. It's a two, but we'll take it. Okay. 16 to 15. They're literally tripling me every time I go to the paint at this point. We dot the corner again, and Wavy thankfully hits it that time. Now we actually have the lead. We're up 18 to 16. We're trying to get a stop. Unfortunately, we don't, and now it's tied at 18. If I get a three, we win. Do I have ice in my veins? The fade ain't. No. I missed. I missed it. I finally choke a game winner. 18 to 18. This dude's got sharp take. So does he. He shoots it for the win. He missed it. It's a late. I'm down core. I'm going up with the lay, and that's in 20 to 18. A stop would be needed right here. He shoots the corner three and creates it. But thankfully, it was a two. 20 to 20. Do I have ice in my base? Ain't no way we get another game winner, right? Ain't no way we get another game winner. That's a free dunk. They finally guarded the corners. We go ahead, take our W, and get out of that game. And we then went on to go on a little win streak. Got five and a half thousand VC, enough to get us to that 87 three-pointer. And we are climbing away at this three-pointer. We're not going up and overall that much. I, I don't know how, but we're not going up and overall that much upgrading this three-pointer, but we're just trying to get it out the way because this is an important stat that we need that's going to help us in gameplay and also get out some of the chunk of the VC we need to get this build to 99 overall, right? So, we're I mean, once again, it maxes out at 92 three-pointer. We continue to cook. We continue the dot. We continue to climb the VC ladder and rack up that VC in the 3v3 Pro-Am. And we were really grinding this 3v3 Pro-Am on this day, especially the last couple of days as well. We get 700, 800, 700, 800, 500, uh, 700, 500. We're just racking up this VC. Look at, we have 6K, 88 three-pointer. That's going to leave us at 83 overall to end day number 10. And there's still a lot of ways to go for this challenge. Day 11 has started, and we are finally going to put on our first clothes. Now, I just went into my inventory, and we had all these clothes for free. So I just put them on and decided to dish the brown shirt. Played a little bit of trivia. Didn't go far. Didn't make much VC. But this day 11 is actually like 15 days apart from day 10. So I took like a 15-day break. Didn't play at all. Came back. Put lock take on my build with sharp take, which surprisingly didn't really do anything to my defense. Didn't really help at all. But I decided, you know, I'm all 3v3 primed out. It's time to go into the galleon and start grinding the galleon because we really haven't played much of this so far this challenge. 
So that's what I did. You see, I'm in the galleon. I'm cooking up. I'm making dudes run out of bounds. I'm making dudes rage quit. I'm shooting over dudes heads. I'm making them look cold. I'm making them look bad. I'm making them lose to a build with no defense. At least we have maxed badges as well as this time too. I'm not sure at what point in the video we had maxed badges, but it doesn't matter because as you can see right here, we're going to an 89 three pointer. We're still at an 83 overall, but anyways, it doesn't matter that I don't that I have max badges because even with max defensive badges, for example, I don't have defensive stats to even put on any of those badges. And same with some of the shooting badges, playmaking badges, and driving badges. But anyways, you see we played that post score right there, got the dub. We're getting around 300 VC every game. You see we lost a couple games, but we're winning most of our games in the gallon, which I feel like is pretty impressive. And then someone in the chat told me to put on Devin Booker fade, which I put on because uh, you know that ain't really like the fade that i was using and then we have a 93 pointer now upgrading to 84 overall so we're two three point upgrades away from maxing that three pointer finally and look at me going crazy with the devin booker fade on the one score i definitely found out that this fade was very good for the 1v1 galleon core specifically because there was just not a lot of space to work with but look at i got team take i got takeover i'm just cooking dudes out here like y'all don't understand how crazy it is Cooking with his 84 overall at 6-1 with no defense and winning most of our games on the Galleon. 1v1 core. That's that's crazy. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, we're getting like 300 VC a game and we're also getting quest boat. This is our first full gameplay we're going to show. You see, we're playing a guy who's averaging 13 points per game. This is also a new season starting in day 11. So this is season five instead of four. So our level did go down um compared to day 10 because we had taken that break but anyways this dude's clearly rim running and this is how i played defense against every player i played against i would just sit in the paint because even if i go up to get a contest i'm not gonna get a contest because i have a 50 perimeter defense with no badges and if i sit in the paint maybe they'll shoot it if they come walk in the paint they're probably still gonna score on me so i'm basically useless on defense it's literally a one on zero so i'm giving this dude the entire court He's up seven to zero early. He's got to take over. I'm still giving him the entire court. And you guys are probably, you know, screaming at your screen right now. Like, bro, just go guard. Like, trust me. I will not get a contest if I'm if he shoots right in my face. It won't happen. Seven to zero, though, because he finally missed. That's what I hope. That's what I, what I wait for every 1v1 game. I just wait for them to miss. And right here, we actually end up missing open, which can't happen in these 1v1 games if I want to win. So we give him the ball immediately. He still has double takeover on top of it. So that makes it even worse. Look okay. at I'm leaving him wide open, and he still wants to rim run so bad. But he finally starts shooting, and he starts sparking up, which is like, why didn't he do this in the beginning? Like, uh, maybe it's because he has takeover, whatever. So 12 to 2, I try to bait him to, like, drive and then go back, but it's not working. He's just shooting. And then I try to do it again, and he gives, and he gets a dunk. So now it's 17 to 2. 17 to 2, he's got double takeover. I'm still leaving him wide open. He goes out with this horrible layup. Once again, rim running with sharp take. When I'm literally leaving him wide open, he fouls as well. Look, he's leaving me wide open. I'm like, okay. The first miss was fluky, my boy. Look, he's still leaving me open with takeover. I'm like, okay. Are you sure you want to do that? Bet. Go ahead and keep leaving me open. And he starts to realize as I'm shooting from literally limitless. It's 17 11 then i can shoot the rock and you can clearly see as well from the beginning of the video that i'm starting to move a lot faster now that i have a couple drill moves and the three pointer is higher and i'm just the ball handles at 85 as well we are starting to move around the court a lot better 17 to 18 this dude's starting to foul i get the easy dunk 17 to 20 and we have completely come back on this dude at this point we get the open three he runs up i get the easy two i'm just getting my win because if i get with the ball even once they're going to abuse my paint defense being so low. So we get that win. We end up making this dude quit. So he's an AI player. And we literally grinding out the galleon this entire day. Wall grinding out quests as well. And got our three-pointer upgraded a little bit. Ending off the day at 84 overall. And you see, we're still racking up VC. We're still racking it up. Losing a couple games here and there. But mostly winning all of our games. And as you can see, we have a 93 pointer not enough to get the 91 three pointer so we'll save that for day number 12 but the build is looking solid right now
Day number 12 is here, and we are finally back in our groove after taking that huge break from day 10 to day 11. And we're back at the Galleon at 84 overall, because we just have a couple three-point upgrades to go until we are finally done with upgrading that 3 to a 92. And you see I'm fading, I'm graining, I'm scoring, I'm dropping off dudes on this Galleon court. And not only can you see a big difference in my gameplay as we're upgrading another three-pointer, 91 three-pointer, one more to go. And then we have that 92 three-pointer max. But anyways, not only can you visually see my build just getting better and better, faster and faster, better at shooting, better at driving, better at dribbling, better at everything as this video goes on. But my record is also going to be improving as the video goes on. And so is my win percent as you're going to see. We're going to give a record update at the end of day 12 here. Because in the beginning, I had like a, like a very low 80 win percent, maybe a 78 win percent. That's just going to rise because obviously we were going to lose more like 60s overalls compared to as we get higher in the overalls, you know, obviously. But anyways, we're getting VC. We're going in the Galleon, obviously. You see, we're racking up VC. I'm showing every single game right here. That game was a little close. Doesn't matter, though. We get the W. Look at eight for eight, five for five. And that's what it took to beat some of these tryhards. Because as you can imagine, every game I'm playing this Galleon is just against some 6'9 dude that can literally do everything because this build system is broken. And I'm on the 6'1 short guard that doesn't even belong on a 1v1 court. And we still making it work. You know what I'm saying? We're also getting close to that max... Uh, cap points as well so we can actually unlock 99 to be able to upgrade it see in the top my points era right there look at us this dude like gave up so i was just doing challenges right there i was doing like the up and under shots because not only was i playing gallant obviously like i said earlier i was also doing quests but look at it we finally did it 85 overall max the three pointer to a 92 how many days did that take that took so long but now we have an 80 dunk 92 3 85 ball handle 91 excel 95 um stamina and look at Hypo hooking me up again with 1500 VC. She really be showing love. But now we're at 85 overall. That's definitely a huge milestone in this video. We're unlocking more cap breakers. We're racking up the VC as we play the gallon. Racking up more VC with the quest that we're completing in the gallon as well. And now I decide to go at speed with ball, which is a pretty expensive one as well. But I want to get to at least 65 ball handles soon. We're still at 85 overall, though. Look at me shooting in dudes' mouths with no take. If you rewind that. I didn't pop take yet when I shot that. I mean, we're shooting contested now that we have a 92 three-pointer. And at 92 three-pointer, now we get gold limitless and gold agent three. So we're really going crazy with that 92 three-pointer, getting those extra shooting badges as well. I continue to upgrade my speed ball. We end the day off at an 85 overall. I have 144 wins. They reset my 3 prime wins, but it's all good. Day number 13 starts with us getting our daily prize. Once again, we don't get VC. We get our daily pickums in to get some more VC. And we go straight to the Galleon again. This was my little, you know, day spree of just grinding this Galleon. And this is the first day where I really felt like the fast, speedy, unstoppable, offensive powerhouse guard build that I had made in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? We're finally at that overall where I'm feeling unstoppable offensively wise. You know what I'm saying? We still haven't upgraded a single thing defensively, but it is what it is. Okay. Now we're going crazy. We win that game right there. 22 to 13 went off. We're getting up threes every game. We're getting BC. We're getting the quest done. And something that I started to worry on this day was the progress not being good enough. You know what I mean? Like 300 VC, a game in the Galleon. I knew things starting from 86 overall and onwards would be more expensive now that we have, you know, what we have left to upgrade, especially with stats like the mid-range being very expensive. And I also knew that that overall would be harder to move. Like it's going to be harder to get to 86 to 87, 90 to 91. You know what I mean? So I knew things just because we were higher overall weren't going to be easier. If anything, it's just going to get harder. So I continue to grind the Galleon for day 13. You see, we're going crazy. We're winning a bunch of games. We're grinding, we're grinding. We're getting close to 200 wins as well. Getting 200 to 300 BC a game. I mean, look at me. I'm shooting consistent at a high percentage. I'm getting, look at six for seven from three that game. Like I'm going crazy. Like I'm moving fast. I got my fadeaway down. I'm feeling unstoppable, y'all. I said that earlier, but I know I'm saying it again because I really was feeling unstoppable. You see, we upgraded our speed ball to a 65. So we're starting to get some of the stats that we haven't even touched yet up a little bit like that speed ball. But we have a lot more to go, obviously, because we're only at 86 overall. 
um but we continue to get back into the galleon grind the games and as y'all know i'm gonna be sh i'm showing every game and if you guys are wondering all these games were streamed um it, it, on my youtube and kick channels if you want to follow them link in the description and twitch as well uh because i in these long challenges like i did with the 1 million bc challenge i'm always streaming them because i know they're gonna be a long grind so i may as well do it live so all these were live if y'all are wondering but anyways look at seven for eight from three that game that is absolutely ridiculous like i'm going crazy nobody can guard my shot here in the galleon and it is clear that that is obvious okay 2300 bc i ended up deciding to not upgrade anything here so we didn't even move up in overall on this day but it was an important day to learn that things weren't getting any easier day number 14 honestly a day that i would like to forget from this challenge as you can see we start with the daily pick and we start by picking up some subs like stealth and my boy biscuit and look at us shooting from half court i mean that's insane bro but if you want to be like these subs right here and play with me in the future make sure you're subscribed to the channel just like them but anyways we start out in the park which we haven't done in a minute you know went on a little streak gathered a crowd and then we went to this stage okay now i didn't have anybody to play with you see we're entering the stage with a 4628 bc so i picked up a couple subs i picked up biscuit and reported j two subscribers that i didn't have communication with because i didn't have any teammates right as you can see reported j walks out of bounds uh, biscuits just sleeping in the corner leaves this guy wide open we're down 12 to freaking two right here i'm clamping this guy Lick it, get a stop, passes out the stealth. And then, of course, as soon as I clamp my guy, he fouls him with four seconds left. Reported Jay, who was just getting ran by the whole game, gives up another dunk. Same with Biscuit, gives up another dunk. 16 to 10. It wasn't looking good. We give up a three, 19 to 15, even after coming back. And we get ran right by again. Defense was awful. It was just embarrassing how bad it was. So we lost 1,500 VC. So I picked up a new team. I picked up Reported Jay, the same guy from last game. And then I picked up the opponent we just lost to who was playing good. Look at He gets dotted in the corner, drains it, and we win a game. So I'm like, okay, this could work. Then we get into this game. And when I tell you this dude, Reported Jay, could not guard a paper bag. I don't think he could, low-key. Because you're going to see this dude was getting scored on every single play for the entire game and it's not like i can't help because you see right there i try to help i have a 25 interior i have the 25 block i have a 25 steal i have no defensive baddies there's not much i can do to help you but if you're getting ran by the entire game with the same move i mean bro what do you want me to say you know and then he un unfortunately reported jay misses a dunk right there but shout out to reporter jay he ran with me a lot in this series um, or a little bit in this series. We got some does, but right here, I ain't gonna lie, Jay, it just wasn't your day. It was looking bad. Get an open three. He greens it. I mean, we're only down 19 to 16, but once again, they score again because we didn't get a single stop that entire game. So now we're at 2,900 VC, and look at how long I'm just running around trying to find some teammates to play with because I, I just lost two games in a row. I'm not trying to lose again. So I, you know, I don't know why I kept Jay on the team. I really don't. I really trusted him. I picked up this center who was green and contested. He was good. That Awoken's guy was solid. He was another subscriber. Look at me doing the pull up fades. We win two games in a row. I'm like, okay, things are looking solid. We get, we getting some dubs out here. You know, I got 16 points, seven for seven, two for two. And then we play this dude again. And this is the guy that I dropped 21 in a row on uh, reported Jay uh by just rim running and he absolutely cooked him again and it's not like this dude was anything special like he was dead ass doing the same thing over and over and just getting three after three after two after bucket after back at a bucket after bucket we didn't get a single stop this game again I mean, he was playing around with him look at him running out of the paint going back in he's got double takeover another easy dunk I mean, and reported Jay was supposed to be our lockdown. He just could not buy a stop. I mean, you couldn't pay him to get a stop. And we still barely lost. So it was really frustrated. I walk out the stage with 4.1 KVC. And you might think, okay, that's not bad. I go back to the gallon because I'm just, uh, I'm frustrated. I just played, you know, you might think, oh, I, we only lost 500 VC. But we played hours in there. And didn't even get a profit so i wasted a lot of time without even getting any vc anyways we max our acceleration to 95 so now we're in 87 overall but it was just a very wasted day 
uneventful day where we didn't really get much done. Like we made like five KBC at 172 wins, but we move on from there. Day 15, hopefully gonna start off better, but it doesn't with a Nike item as the daily prize because day 14 was very bad. We started the Galleon and my stream gives me some advice on the challenge. Go to stage, see y'all say that. So y'all heard it, they told me to go to stage and I was like, nope, not doing it. They kept telling me to go to stage as I was in the, as, as I was in the Galleon. And of course, day 15, here we are. I don't have any teammates again, so I would have to pick out some subs. And eventually, as you can see, I'm racking up BC in the Galleon. This isn't a, a clip just being replayed, by the way. You can see in the My Points that it's different clips. So those are different games. Look at the top right. We have 300, 3,500 VC loading into the stage. And yes, they convinced me to go in the stage again. So I pick up some teammates and I'm like, hopefully we don't get sold again because there's no way it can happen that badly again, right? So I pick up Hezzy and this other guy right here, some two subs. And I'm like, okay, we're playing an AI player. This should be free, right? So I get a dunk to start the game. Um, I tell him that I'm going to guard the AI. He doesn't listen, so he leaves him wide. It's okay. It's confusion on the first play. Some reason I'm at center, so I'm inbounding it. He runs away from it. So it, I don't know why you would run away from the ball in the inbound, but whatever. I'll take the blame for that. He gets dunked on five to two. It's not looking good, but I'll, I'll take the blame for that turnover, even though, you know, it's both of our faults. Five to four right here. That probably should have been a steal once again. He gets right by him. Seven to four. So we're not really getting any stops. The space is kind of weird. He's throwing it over here. These dudes already have takeover. My pass accuracy is so bad that Bruh. even when I pass to him, he's not open by that time. The ball gets to him, and then he goes up with on two people when I'm wide open. Gives up another dunk. 11 to four. Another bad pass. I'm trying to throw over to the corner because he missed the corner dot. I'm trying to get the two pass out. It's just everything's looking bad. We're giving up another three, and we're down 14 to four against a freaking AI player. This dude's getting dunked on every play, 16 to four. We can't hit an open read. We can't hit an open shot. We can't get a single stop. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think we got a single stop against this AI. Look, he sparked in the corner for game, and we lost on the 2000 court against an AI player. So off the rip, I'm pissed. I'm like, ain't no way. So I keep Hezzy and picked up the opponent we just played that was going off. So I'm like, okay, he's got to play good now. Look at, we're up nine to two. I'm like, yo, this is a free win. I'm even telling my chat like, yeah, this is like a free game. I dot the corner of the guy who just went off against us. He just went crazy. And I'm dotting him in the corner and he can't hit a shot, right? It's, I know y'all got friends like this. They play so good against you. Then they get on your team and look, he throws a turnover and they can't do anything. He shoots a heavily. It's a like, bro. How many times are you going to sell? Look, it's 19 to 18. His guy is guarding me right here. So I'm like, okay, he's wide open. Clearly for game. Easy shot. Missed it again. And I thought there's no way he would miss it again. He's missed so much already wide open. He missed it again. Yeah. So now it's 19 to 18 for game. We're clamping up. We get over there. We, we force a stop, get the rebound. So we have another chance. He fouls. I give it to Hezzy. I have no energy right here. I'm trying to create something, trying to get a three because I don't trust her defense at all. Hezzy gets a wide open three right here. Unfortunately, misses, but it's like playing pretty well old game, so I ain't going to blame anything on him. I have a 25 steal, by the way, so we need to stop. And what do you know? I get a steal with my 25 steal. I give him the ball. What do you know? He just runs right up to rim take and gets ripped, and we lose the game. So the guy that went off against us decides to play like he's playing a different sport uh when he's on my team and look at now we're down to 74 vc got completely all my vc wasted that day and back to the gallon i go and it was just frustrating man like i was like you know what i'm never going to the stage for the rest of this challenge unless i have a set team and you're probably thinking well you haven't played with key sticks since like the very end of this challenge so i was thinking yep i'm not playing until i have a set team like key sticks or something that i can communicate with that i have played with before that i know isn't gonna sell me so i went back to the galleon and we played this dude he was rim running the whole game seven to zero i'm leaving him wide open and he hits a three so i'm like damn this is just nothing's going right i'm down 10 to zero this dude's got double take i can't win a game with my Ooh, he missed it I can't win a game unless my subs. I can't win in the gallon. I'm like, yo, what is going on? So I'm like, okay, let's see. Really? Really 2K? I missed a wide open dunk. And at this point, I'm like, yo, I'm done. I can't with this challenge, bro. 12 to zero. We're leaving him open. He missed again. And then he rips me immediately. I'm like, yo, what is good with this game, bro? Do they want me to win any games today? 
Once again, I get another stop. I'm like, okay, I mean, hopefully I don't get ripped 12 to zero. And he's spamming his square button. So I finally get a two, which I should have had early on, but they made me miss it. Get an open three. Meanwhile, he is locked take the entire time I've had the ball. I haven't had the ball without him having locked take. And we're still scoring 12 to seven. We're starting to claw away at his lead. We get another dunk. Now I got takeover 12 to nine. Double takeover. Is he going to guard my three? Yeah, a little bit. Or I'm trying to find the in-between. And there we go. A little three right there. Now it's a tie game just like that. 12 to 12. Going to the rack. Another two. 14 to 12. Giving him a little taste of his own medicine. Step back three. You better step up, my boy. We got a 92-3 now with goal limitless. That's chicken. Going to the rack again with my quick drops. 19 to 12. Game point. You already know, open three is a green three. Get him off my court. It felt good getting that win under my belt after such an awful couple days in the stage with my subscribers. It was just unfortunate. It was frustrating, but we were stacking up, racking up the VC in the Galleon. Lost the game here and there, but won, I'd say, 90% of our games in this Galleon. And you believe it, we're going nine for nine in that game, going crazy. But it was just unfortunate because day 14, almost no progress. Now day 15 almost no progress again i mean what did we make today three kvc eight kvc total in the last two days something is needs to change and it needs to change fast because this isn't consistent day 16 we started off with a massive change by starting off the stream with a set stage team i got my boy key sticks finally out here playing lockdown and my boy jay curry playing center and of course me at guard you see 20 to 20 we already going crazy in the first game it was a close one we're on the 1500 core and just like that it was time to have a big day ahead of us you see we're starting with 3.3 thousand vc in the top right it was a big day needed okay we had the last two days very low slow progress but today was going to be different okay so i knew we were going to be grinding stage all day every day for the rest of this challenge because we have 13 overalls left to get and they are very expensive overalls okay so right here we're playing a stage team two level 40s a good guard 19 to 17 look at the ball move we get them off the court come on man we're gonna be streaking in this stage and this is where you're gonna see my player go from you know pretty good to unstoppable high level performances in this stage okay so we're at 87 overall you see we're getting out over 1600 vc 1500 vc a game which is huge okay we have not gotten this amount of vc at this rate at all during this challenge so the rate of vc we are earning vc at is about a skyrocket in this stage okay and we're only at the 1500 court right now and look at this game right here we're playing three level 40s all averaging at least 10 points per game get them out of here we don't care about none of that we don't care get them off we're we're, we're pushing to this 99 overall Th these last those last two struggle days that motivated me now we get into this 99 overall asap okay we are streaking out here teams are pulling up little fours are pulling up stars are pulling up stage players are pulling up iso players are pulling up all kinds of dudes are pulling up and it does not matter okay look at this three level 40 team again is pulling up and again they're losing and pay attention to my points in these games it's not y'all can't say i got carried at all in this challenge like i'm really at point guard from 60 to 99 averaging 15 16 points per game okay there's no excuse like i'm going crazy look at fade away for game i miss unfortunately and uh yeah yeah we finally missed the game winner okay we've made like nine okay we're like nine for ten on game winners it's okay though because we have 15 kbc i decided to upgrade the vertical so i can get better dunks and finally for the first time ever upgrade a little perimeter defense now we're at 88 overall we have 6,000 vc and we decided to go to the 2000 court look at the first game we get a 21 oh my god imagine getting 21 on the threes in the stage that's bad but as you can see we have 7.8 thousand vc um, as we are on this court and then the highest 3v3 stage core you're probably wondering why don't you just go to like the 5 or 10k the highest 3v3 core is the 2250 court there is a 5k2 score but i'm 6-1 and you're gonna see me go to that court eventually and it, it, it's just how i would determine it 
it play out. So you'll see that later in the video. But anyways, we're at 88 overall. Look at every game. We're getting at least 1,800 VC. We're playing sweats. We're playing level 40s, bro. Good teams are pulling up. We're not just playing the dude, the random teams pulling up. We're playing stage teams out here. You see, we're getting the ball moving going. That's a three. Now, I'm rocking slash sharp take all offense because I'm guarding the corner anyways now that I have a set team. So we should be chilling. We end up going to the 2.2K court now so we can maximize this VC. Actually, did we go to the 2.2K? I don't know what we just did, but I think I... I don't know what... Just, I don't know. Someone got error coded, so we had to get back on the court. So we're still in the 2,000 VC court, still streaking it up. And look at that dude tips it, ends up getting a buck. We end up getting a bucket out of it anyway, so it don't even matter. Look at Key6 spam with the pump fakes. But yeah, we're at 88 overall. We're almost at 90 overall, which we should be able to get today if we keep grinding. Now, look at this team right here. This was a set team. They had a center, they had a lock, and then an ISO player. This team wasn't good, but for how 2K23 is set up, it, the game is made perfectly for them. So we start off the game with no stamina and a low mid-range. So I missed that wide open. But this team ends up playing us a lot, you're gonna see. So we're down two to or we're up two to zero. We give up a wide open midi, horrible transition defense, even though we literally scored. So it shouldn't even have been a fast break. Two to two. I got this pure lock guarding me. I have no energy. It's looking bad. Jay Curry almost backdoors right there, and I throw a turnover. So I was boxed that play. But look at their guard is just a rim runner. He just rim runs basically the whole time. So we get a key six. It's a stop right there. Two to two. I'm fading almost no energy and a midi. I don't even know how I made that because I have like a 50 mid range. So I don't know how I green that. Four to two. This dude's shooting some crazy stuff. They're looking trash right now. I get the ball right here. We're going for the three and give me that green. Come on. Seven to two almost that takeover but we give up a wide open three right here and he ends up greening it see i was in his face but it doesn't matter because i don't really have any defense on this build yet so it counts as an open nine to five key six has lockdown takeover jay curry playing good help defense right there we're playing good d they got nothing open i'm on the corner five seconds left on the shot clock they dot the wing back to him and i don't know why jay curry randomly sagged off of him so it ends up getting a three. So now we're only up one. We should be up by a lot more, whatever. I tell Keys to get, take the two and he gets a heavily. So I didn't even touch the ball that play. Then I touch the ball, get ripped. They get a fast break right here. So we're down one and they have the ball. Like what happened? We were just up like nine to four. He dots the corner. Thank God it was just a two. Now they're up 12 to nine though. And then I'm taking this bad layup. I have no bailout or pass accuracy, so that doesn't turn out too well. And we lose it again. But thank God we get a stop. So it's 12 to 9. We just need to score at this point. I'm like, because it's getting frustrating how many times we didn't score in a row. So I take the two, 12 to 11. We need to stop. This guy has takeover. He's literally just running straight, trying to get Key Six out of the way. Like he wants to get a dunk so bad. This lockdown ends up scoring on Jay Curry, though. So we're still down three, which is bad. They got takeover. This dude has a, there's a pure lock on me with lock take. It's just looking bad. No energy. So I take my two, 14 to 13. I'm trusting our defense. And yeah, I don't know what happened in that possession. We give up a wide open midi, 16 to 13. This dude's full court pressing me dang, damn near. I take my two again, and I miss the dunk. Like, it's just getting frustrating. Like, I'm blinking, no energy. I throw a turnover. It's just nothing's going on. I four turnovers. 16 to 13. This dude is a wide open three. I have to help. So I leave my corner. Now we're down 19 to 13? Like, no way, bro. This is so frustrating. Look, I can't get it to. I got no energy. He just smacks my stuff to Western Uganda. 19, 13, four turnovers. We have nothing going. I take a layup, and it's just like, GG's. We lost one bucket. It's over 19 to 15. This dude's trying to get it too. He doesn't get it. We're trying to, you know, keep the journey alive here. Keep the streak alive. Not lose this game. Two seconds. He fades open. Missed it. So it's like, okay, we still probably lost because we need a lot of buckets here. Um, and we're, we don't really have anything going for us. We probably need a three right here. I'm not going to lie. Three would be huge. If we can get a three, that would help. But nothing's open. Like they're on everything. Their defense is solid. But look at it. I get that little small inch of space, and we get that three. 19 to 18, wide open three for the win. He missed it. Oh my God. He's fouling a frustration foul. If we get a three, we win. No way, I'm gaming this. 
Oh my, I definitely can't shoot that. Can't shoot that. We might have to take a two here. Low energy, key six back store. Doesn't go up with that. We have five seconds. I get the ball with three seconds and I just take my two immediately. We cannot give up a three. I have takeover. If they get a three, they win. They end up just taking their two immediately. If we get a three though, we win. Y'all already know. I had ice in my face this whole challenge and it ain't changing anymore over both of them. Get off my court. 19 points on their head. A lot of turnovers. But, I mean, it is what it is with that pass accuracy. That's going to happen. But we win that game, okay? So we survived that game. A very intense game. We get into the very next game, playing three goats here, guys. I dodged Jerry shoots an early. I hit the moon right there. Um, So that's unfortunate. And then we go ahead, give up a three right here. But it was contested, so we don't got to worry about that. But they get another open three off an offensive rebound. So now we're down three to zero. Kind of a rough start and definitely not a way you want to start because something I realized on the threes on 2K23, it's really a race to take over. Like once you, whoever gets double takeover first, especially the lock, that's like a huge advantage. So they dot the corner right here. He's trying to, you know, take advantage of my deep, low defense stats, but we get a bump, throws a turnover. And just like that, we are down three to two with the ball. So we're looking to get another bucket right here to get a little lead. I get a dunk over two people. We'll take that four to three. We're taking our twos. We're being smart with it. I'm not really sure what's going on on defense here, but they make a contested layup. So we're down one again, and I'm just going to keep taking my twos. I trust in our defense. I know Key Sticks has good defense, so I trust in our stops. And look at me getting a stop right here. They're really trying to take advantage of my height, but I'm not letting it happen. Key Sticks passes out of that, and Jay Curry with an absolute green from a couple steps outside the three-point line. Nine to five. We're still getting up twos. This dude's with a Jordan dunk package. We can get that on this build. Hopefully, we can get that soon once we get the overall ramping up here. But 7 to 11, giving up another dunk. 7 or 11 to 9. We're trying to get another bucket. I'm one off takeover here. I'm still just taking my twos. I mean, this dude's playing very high on me. I'm taking my twos till takeover. We'll take that. This dude's wide open for three. So they end up getting that. So now we're only up one, but I got take, but only a two right there. Even though we have a 50 mid range, we still green it. So it's 15 to 12. If they get a three, it's a tie game, which is kind of crazy, but they go ahead and take another two. They're only down one, even though how well we've been consistent on offense. I take another two right there. They were trying to rotate, but they're obviously they didn't communicate well on that. And then we give up another two. As you can see, they're just attacking me every play because they know I have no defense. 17 to 16. We hit the spin back on them. And that's overdose. That's green. 20 to 16 up four. It's looking good right now. There's no way they win this. He's got a sharp take. Takes an open two. It's fine. We're up 20 to 18 with the ball. We should be chilling. But then this dude reaches, gets a steal. So now it's like, okay, no threes, no threes, no threes, chill. No threes, cannot give him a three here. And what did he do? He gets a freaking three. So now we're down one. I have 17 points right now. And you're telling me I need to activate ice in my veins again? Is that what you're telling me right now? 21 to 20, you probably had no doubt we were icing that. Y'all need to come up with a nickname for me in this video at this point with how many times I have iced it for a game in this video. How many times, bro? We need to create some kind of nickname for me at this point when it comes to game point, game on the line, and I got the ball in my hands because it's just what I do at this point. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, we get off the court, and after all those games, you're probably like, damn, 20,000 VC? Yup. We're in the stage. We're getting like 2,000 VC a game. So we end up getting our driving dunk to an 80 all the way to an 88. And then we see how much it is to get to 97 because I don't have the 99 caps. 232,000 VC? I'm like, damn, we have a long way to go. And now that I have an 88 dunk, I decided to buy one contact dunk package for now. And that's a big jump. Like, going from an 80 dunk to an 88 dunk is a big jump. And look at, these guys are playing us again. The same team that we had a close game earlier with. And look at, now I'm starting to use the dunk meter, so you see me green and dunk to start this game. It's the same team, uh, the guard just, the rim running Wow! <laughs> Air ball. No, oh, okay. Uh, interesting way to start off offense for them, but... Yeah, the guard just has a different outfit on. Key 6 gets a walk back through there. It actually missed it. It was a great shot. Um, but that's kind of frustrating because we always end up getting a close game with this team. So it's just frustrating missing shots like that. 2-2. Two to two, the Smart dot in the corner of the Jade Curry because the lock wants to come up and guard me. So 5-2 to two right here. This dude pulls up and actually hits that, which was surprising to see at the time because he really wasn't shooting at all uh, as he was playing us. But right here, I don't know how. That was just such a frustrating possession. Like, how does the corner 
come out the corner and rip me like it was just such bull five to seven i get a dunk now it's seven to seven and they beat us to the race with take they got two guys with take key six almost gets that inbound steal should have gotten it then right here should have got that steal right there then pick gets a steal and then it's their ball it's like everything is going their way they get a wide open three he missed times it and then we get an open two right here. I don't end up taking it, but I get another open two. So I take that one, nine to seven. They're attacking me off the corner, nine to nine. Fair play, we take another two. We're kind of just trading twos right now, but we need to get stops because this team is known to get bailed out against us. And I'm not trying to have another close game against them. And once again, they miss time another open shot. We got a fast break, I hit key sticks. He goes with the easy dunk. And look at, we got a comfortable four point lead. This is looking pretty solid, right? So we're trying to get a steal right here, and that's exactly what Key Six does. And look at pulls up for a three. Bang! That's his body. A seven-point lead. We should be chilling, right? They backdoor me, goes out for a three. They're really trying to take advantage of me, but for whatever reason, Jay Curry's helping on Casper the Ghost and gives him a three. So it's 16 to 12. We're trying to get a bucket. All we need is any kind of bucket. Go with the two, but rim take denies me. Key six thankfully gets the off the rim, but this gets ripped immediately. Like I'm telling you, this team was getting bailed so much. He's body blocking key six, gets the open dunk, and now it's a two point game. Like what? Then I go for a content dunk. That's on me. I missed it, but that turns into a tie game. It's they just went on a seven zero run. Got 16 to 16. Then they get us this steal. It's like, yo, no way we're about to lose this game, right? They backdoor me. Now it's now we're losing 18 to 16. They're on a 9-0 run. I have low energy with this lockdown on me. I take my two. It's 18 to 18. If they get a three here, we lose. They take their two. They're being smart about it. They've already lost to us multiple times. But look at key six up the court with the green. Oh my god, that was clutch. Now we're up one, no threes. If they get a three, they win. I'm guarding the corner, I'm on that. He takes his smart two, it is what it is. They're desperate for a win. They've lost to us multiple times. Game on the line, the ball's in my hands. I take the two, 23-22. We cannot give him a three, he goes for it. He tried it, he tried it. Ball in my hands, game on the line. Y'all already know, we taking the two with the dunk meter, 25-22, get off the court. And we at 89 overall, getting close to 90 overall. And we are just racking up this VC in the stage. You look at my record. I've passed 200 wins now. You have even more wins if you count the 3v3 prom games from the previous season. I'm starting to upgrade my pass accuracy a little bit, which is very important. And now we are 90 overall. I mean, wow. And then after playing stage, I decided to get some extra VC in the Galleon. So I have, you know, you know, I can buy you know, maybe a contact dunk or at least have enough VC to play stage for the next day. You see, we lose about one, two games, but we win like 90% of our games in this galleon. Look at all the VC just racking up. This isn't a clip rerunning. Look at the my points. We're getting different my points every time. We upgrade again, and we are at 90 overall. I spent all my VC, so we're gonna go back into the galley and get some more VC, so we do have VC to play stage the next day, of course. We lose another game, but we're winning most of our games. Look at the my points. These are different games every single time. Got 2.8 thousand VC, 90 overall. Going into day 17, we're feeling very confident. Day 17 is here. We already knew the drill. We went straight to the 2.2K court. You see, we're at 90 overall, and this was just a day at this stage going crazy you see every game we're getting at least 2000 vc look at the my points too i'm not replaying clips we're actually just running through these games you see we're getting 25 percent some games too which would give us 2500 vc which is huge you see we already got 11k vc after playing a couple games i decided to get 89 ball handle immediately which gives us hall of fame quick first step finally and 91 overall so if you think i was moving fast before well, now we have Hall of Fame quick first step. So we're moving even faster. Look at the my points. These aren't games just being replayed. These are different games. We're just racking up win after win after win on the highest 3v3 stage court, which is the 2,250 court, getting at least 2,025 VC every single game. Look at this game going crazy, dropping 12. I mean, we're, we're averaging 15, 16 points per game. So we're scoring the bulk of the points, like I said. So there is no excuses out here. 2,500 VC. You see the my points cap breakers also maxing out because we got to get to that 99. Key 6 ends up lagging out, but look at the top right. We're at 30,000 VCs, so you already know what time it is. It's upgrade time. So I decided to upgrade to that 94 ball handle, get a little pass accuracy as well. And look at, we jumped from 91 all the way to 93 overall. I mean, damn. 
And now I got to get my drill moves because I'm finally maxed ball handle. So I end up getting the Trey Young escape. We end up buying another um, contact dunk as well. So we're back down to 2.6 thousand BC. We get back on the 3v3 court. We end up racking up some more BC. I mean, we are just making max progress. Look at that. We're at 99 overall cap breaker. So we unlocked 99 cap breaker, as you can see, which means we are literally only missing the VC to get to 99. We have max badges as well. So we have max cap breaker, max badges. We just need a VC right here. We're upgrading past accuracy again. We're still at 93 overall, but what a great day of the stage. We're at 250 plus wins. We're racking up wins. We're racking up VC. Things are looking good and we're getting to a higher win percent as well. 99 is on the way. Day 18, a must-watch day because if you've been here since 60 overall in this video, you're going to want to see this. We're starting with 5K BC, and after those upgrades from the last video, this build is looking completely different. Look at us. First contact dunk. Get out the way. 88 driving dunk. Okay, look at how fast we're moving with Qual of Fame. Quick first step. They're double teaming. It don't matter. We're getting the ball moving. He hits key sticks. He's going to hit it back to me. The shot clock's going down. Oh, no. Are we going to score? Are we going to score? Look at me moving fast with the new signature styles, the new dribbles. Oh, my God. Spin move green. He's in the spin cycle. Our build is looking tough. It's looking different. The drill moves, the new upgrades, the new everything. Immediately, key sticks gets a steal. I'm like, yo, I'm flopping over here. Like, did I really just do that? But then we come back down the court all the way behind the half court line is green like it's nothing oh my gosh this build is looking different we go back on the fast break contact dunk on your head that's green too okay this is looking insane fast break in your face green i mean wow you can clearly see the visual difference in how crazy this build is looking. And all the tryhards we're pulling up. You see the double level 40s of the stage lineup, the ISO build lineups. Look at all these 99 overall go tier level 40 sweat stage players averaging double digit points per game with lockdowns guarding me. They got the fast guards. They got the ISO lineups. They got the NBA players, the level 40s. They got everybody in sight pulling up on us. But guess what? It didn't matter because this would be our biggest win streak of the entire video. You see game after game, VC after VC racking up. Look at the background. These are different teams losing every time. Some of them would spin the block, of course. But you already know you spin in the block. We just going to give you another L. You know, it's it's like us giving you an L and you saying double it. Simple as that. That's what we're going to do. OK, 25. Look at 3000 VC right there. We got 50 percent earnings. That is crazy. Look at all this VC racking up. You're like, you're probably like, damn, how much VC you going to have at the end of this day? Well, it just kept going and going and going because you're going to see the win streak in a second. It got pretty crazy in here. The crowd was getting crazy, too, because people like who is taking over the PlayStation stage? Who's that guard? I haven't seen him in here. And yeah, it's your boy Double H going crazy, okay? Look at this VC. I mean, two. This just is just a, it's just a beauty to see after all the struggles in the beginning of the VC. You know, in the beginning, trying to get VC, you know, getting 500 there, 300 here. Look at this. 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,200, 2,500. We just kept going crazy. Look at this team right here. They had pulled up multiple times, multiple level 40s. And look at how dominant we are. Okay, now that we've hit 93 overall, this is probably the biggest difference. Once we hit 93, it was like, oh my gosh, this build is different. We're up 7-2. to two. We're getting fast breaks. Now we're up 9-2. to two. This team was supposed to be solid. They spun the block. They thought the first game was a fluke. Look at me fading in his face. Double takeover activated now. 12-2. to two. Where is he going? Oh my God, he can't guard me. We're too fast with him. We got actual good dribbles now. Where are you going? Oh my God, that's a fade. That's a green. 15 to 2. Don't let it happen. Not him trying to pinch though. Pull up fade. Get out of here. I don't even have my mid-range upgraded. That's still green. Look at him. Look at him trying to guard. Thinking he can guard me. Where are you going? 20 to 5 game point. Jay Curry going to the basket. Out the key sticks. Out the me. That is green. 23 to 5? Really? We're blowing out level 40 teams like that. 17 points, seven for seven, three for three. And then look at this team. That's another stage team. They lock a small guard at center, two level 40s. It's zero to zero. We start off the game taking off an easy two, right? It's looking interesting, right? Pull back. We going over here. Probably should have shot that three, but we take another two. It's four to zero. It's like, okay, this is going to be a good game. Oh, we fast forward. It's 13 to zero. 
Now it's 16 to zero. Their guard is cold. The guard ends up quitting out. It's 16 to zero. I shoot this dude's face. Doesn't matter. Still green. 19 to zero. And um, yeah, that's game. We 22 0 them. <laughs> yeah. Um, we went eight for nine, six for seven for three. It, it, to say the least, it's looking devious out here. Okay. And by the way, that streak I was talking about, yeah, there it is. 25 win streak. You want to know how it ended? It did not end in a loss. No, it did not end. It ended up in a team glitching our court because they couldn't beat us. So they wanted us to lose the court. And obviously, if you can't beat us, you can't get us off the court. So they glitched our court. You see us waiting here for minutes on minutes on minutes. Ended up having a dashboard. I load up the stage and I have 57,000 VC. Wow, we are in store for a big upgrade here. I max my pack accuracy, get my layup up, get my steal up, max my speed, max my vertical. And we're jumping from a 93 overall to a 95 overall. I mean, we're making 50 plus KVC a day. We should hit 99 in no time. So now that we unlocked the cap breaker as well, I wanted to see how much until 99. We still have 198,000 VC to go. So we still got some ways to go, but boy, are we making some good progress. We are here in day number 19. Y'all saw the last day we've made over 50,000 BC. Things weren't gonna change. We're gonna keep the, the, the foot on the gas, keep it going. You see, we got the dunk meter, we're going crazy. We're at 95 overall. Besides defense, offensively, we're going crazy. We have an 88 dunk, we have a 92 three, we have a 94 ball handle. We really have all the badges that we need offensively as well. So now we literally are a demigod on offense. So we're on the 2.2K, streeting up. Y'all already know I'm showing every game, just like I have been this entire video, showing y'all that we are doing this legit, no mic or nothing. Y'all see at the end of the video too that we didn't play a single mic game. Anyways, 2,500 VC, we beat another game winner right there, 21 to two, I mean, wow. I mean, we were blowing out some teams right here. 18 to 12, y'all already know me, fade away. That's green, get them off the court, 21 to 12. We get that 25% boost, giving us 2,500 VC, which is always nice. Seven game win streak to start of the day. You see we have 17 and a half thousand VC. And look at, our court gets glitched again. It's like, bro, what is good with these dudes glitching our court? So I end up upgrading my speed with ball a little bit here. Actually, no, we don't. We upgrade our perimeter defense instead. We're still at 95 overall. We're finally upgrading a little bit of defense. I mean, it's been forever, but is what it is. Y'all can argue that that wasn't the best route to go, but you know, as long as we get to 99 overall, it don't really matter. So we end up going to the 1500 VC court because I upgraded a little too much to the point where I didn't have enough to play on the 2200 court. So we're on the 1500 VC court going crazy, getting 1350 a game, which is still good. Not as much, obviously, but you know, we're still pushing it, trying to get the VC because once again, we have max badges, we have max cap breakers. We're literally just waiting on getting enough VC to get 99. That's literally all we need and we're good to go, right? So 1,600 VC from that game, another game right here, kind of a close game, but we end up winning 21 to 16. And yeah, the VC just keeps racking up, racking up, racking up. We got takeover right here, fade away three, and that's green. Come on, man. Too, we too good out here. We too good out here with it. 1,350 VC key sticks from half court. Okay, key, let me find out that's your body. Uh, 1,350 BC again. We're up. I mean, we just 21 owed that team. Like, bro, how do you get 21 owed on the threes? I swear, if I pull up with 360 overalls, we're getting at least one bucket. Okay, at least one. Come on now. Anyways, right here, 22 to four, another easy dub, and we're low key streaking it up on this 1500 court. Probably should have hopped off earlier to go to another court to get more VC per game. But anyways, we hop off right here with about 16,000 BC. We go ahead upgrade this steel. A little bit, I think. Yeah, we're going with what? Seven, is this what we're going with? 73 steel. That's what we're going with. Still at 95 overall, but that's fine because we literally jumped up from 91 to 93 to 93 to 95. So it's expected that 96 would take a little while to get to. But look at, we're down 19 to 17. Look at me frying that dude for a three. Come on now. I'm in my back. I'm clutching a key sticks with a clutch steel. Give it to me. Give it to me. You know I have ice in my veins, key sticks. You know me. Give me the easy two. Get him off the court. Come on now. Nothing we can't handle. 
2200 court is now officially ours again 20 to 9 right here fade away three over his head get off the court okay we are streaking up in this stage at the end of this challenge we're making this stage our stage we own this stage okay it's our stage we need this bc okay we need to get this 99 overall we've been grinding too hard to not get there okay 20 to 11 rim lock take i don't care what takeover you have get off my court 23 to 11 look at 17 points six for six five for five god damn shooting oh my god look at that we passing off the double team okay you see the ie we, we finally have a pass i hear see y'all it's about time finally we can make those passes now uh we get another win right here 22 to 8 we're really streaking up on multiple different stage courts in this uh during this day you see 20 to 20 who are you gonna call we're gonna call y'all who do we call easy dunk that time we didn't even need to shoot i mean bro somebody in the comments has to count up how many game winners i've shown we probably had even more that i didn't even end up showing in this video but i mean it, to say i mean we we were carrying the load here okay we are going crazy 78 steal right here still a 95 overall but shout out to jay curry and key six because they were going crazy with me in this stage they were playing their role very well throughout all these stage games because y'all saw clearly when i was playing with subs i can't do it all by myself i'm gonna need some defense on my team you know anyways we're back on the 1500 court because i spent a little too much vc again so we're just rack or i think maybe because it was some other court was taken i'm not sure what it was why we were on the 1500 but we're on the 1500 getting 1350 a game we're on a little seven game win streak to end off uh the the streaks right here getting another win right here popping off with 14 kvc instead of stacking up that 57k like yesterday we were kind of upgrading in spurts so we have another upgrade right here which is actually going to give us to 96 overall upgrade in this perimeter defense and finally we might be a little useful on defense you know what i'm saying we're definitely going to be getting some steals now getting some contests on the perimeter 96 overall on day 19 we still have some ways to go 147,000 vc ways to go but we're definitely gonna get there get to work man clocking in y'all heard the boys they're, they already know the drill they're locking in they're clocking in we're starting off with low bc but we gotta turn that into a bad real quick here on day 20 which is crazy to say day 20 starting off with this game right here you already know we greening up okay up 16 to 13 first day of the game we walking back which is a move i don't show me doing a lot in this video but i was destroying people with that walk back i ain't gonna lie look how fast we move in oh my god we are cooking up nobody can guard me out here you can clearly see the visual difference of this build i am cooking lockdowns literally guys that made their build to play defense and i am getting up three after three after three literally going crazy stealing these dudes vc out of their pocket like stealing candy from a baby look at me getting double team don't matter fading i'm graining and you could call it left right whatever but guys the three point line is a left right directional thing okay if i want to fight for a three my only ways are left or right you feel me like, i'm not gonna go up and down for a three i mean sometimes i'll go down uh, if i'm doing a lock back, look at i'm seven for seven four for four i'm just cooking dudes look at i get a steal i get a little three right here i'm really just doing everything now that now that i got a little perimeter defense and steal as well i'm cooking as well look at 18 to 17 oh my god what's gonna happen guys oh i get another game winner come on bro literally in my duffy going crazy fade away three again 13 to four double take over look at 2019 who are we gonna call another game winner alert another game winner alert oh my god walk back where are you going that's green get off my court stop playing with me man and y'all are in a rude awakening for something y'all haven't seen this build do you're probably like damn this build's getting a lot of threes up really good uh three hunting build well uh yeah, check this out right here oh <laughs> yo yo oh yo yo <laughs> yo oh my god yeah i mean this build can literally do everything we have officially broken ankles shot from beyond half court fought for threes against top teams gotten contact dunks now we're jumping over people what have we not done with this build in this video we've literally done everything you could think of ankle breakers everything anyways we go for an upgrade we got 12k bc decide to upgrade the spew with ball just a tad bit 
and right to the 2200 BC court we go again. And as you can see in the background, there's different teams getting dropped off. Some will come around, but these are different clips of me racking up this BC. Just so y'all know, this is legit, okay? We never bought BC throughout this entire round. I want y'all to know that because some people, you know what I'm saying, might believe that we didn't do this lit. I'm, that's why I'm showing everything. To show y'all that I really did do this legit. Now, this is a legit video. 31,000 BC. This ain't clickbait. We getting off the court. Upgrading again. 75 speed ball. Sounds good to me. But we go with 77 speed with ball. 78 perimeter defense. Still not a 97. But we'll take that upgrade with 2.3k BC left. And we also um, get another dribble style. Which is the Michael Jordan dribble style. We finally got it. I mean, how far are we into this video? We just got the Michael Jordan dribble style. Because speed ball is that expensive. Back to the 2200 BC court, as you can see, and we are just racking and stacking that BC over and over and over. And then I get an error code. Okay, 2K. Well, back to the upgrade screen. We go with 17K BC. I upgrade the speed ball, upgrade the layup a little bit. And now that's going to bring us, and a perimeter defense plus one, that's going to bring us to a 97 overall. I only have 31 BC left. We got two overalls to go, 84K BC, 94K BC to go. We got this in the back. Day 21 is here, and we're starting it off at the daily prize. Of course, not getting anything. We've only got VC from that thing one time through this challenge, which is crazy. We're starting off the day with 800 VC, 97 overall. Obviously, that's not enough to play stage. So I decided to hop into the galleon right before the stream, play a couple games here. And uh, this would probably be the last time I'd be in the galley. And we claim our level 25 reward for those dash shoes. So I ended up changing my outfit again. And we're suited up. You know, we look nice. I got the free suit on. I got the free shoes on. This is free drip. And we have better drip than y'all watching the video. Damn. Anyways, into the galley at 97 overall. And this would be the last galleon game I played. And it's against a sweat. So we were in for a good one. The last Galleon game of the video. And we're leaving this dude wide open. How is he not shooting? He rim runs. It's like, bro, I don't understand people in this game. I leave you wide open and you don't shoot it. Two to zero. Once again, he's talking crazy in game chat too. And he's drop stepping me. He's resorting to drop stepping. Because he knows that he can't shoot. And I'm leaving him wide open. Like, that's just sad, bro. Finally shoots a midi. Misses it. I mean, he's wide open. He missed. But then I get the ball right here. I get an easy three. He's leaving me open. I guess these rim runners don't think anyone else can shoot on this game because they can't shoot. I don't know. Five to four. He's still talking crazy. I get the easy dunk. Now I got to take over seven to four. Now at this point, as long as I don't miss, I should be chilling. We get another dunk. He's playing like kind of up and down defense. So it's kind of hard to read when he's guarding the two or the three. So right here, I shoot an awful shot, which is pretty disappointing because now we got to give the ball. Look, he's flopping. Like what? Why are you flopping? I'm leaving him wide open, and now he wants to start shooting good. So I said, okay. I kind of try to bait the open shot. It's still open uh, for whatever reason. So it's nine to nine. And then I try to actually guard him. Then, of course, he rim runs me, which reminds me why I just sit in the paint. Now he has double takeover. He's shooting over me. 14 to nine. It's getting bad out here. I'm trying to leave him open and guard the paint at the same time. And once again, he's resorting to drop stepping me when he's clamped, which is just insane. You're on a 6-9 that can literally do everything. Anyways, 18-9. It's looking like a GG. Probably going to get a loss on our last Galleon game. He gets a wide-up dunk. 20-9. to nine. He's talking crazy in game chat. Game point decides to try to rim run me. I'm leaving him wide open with sharp take, and he missed it. I mean, these rim runners can't shoot wide open for their life. Anyways, I get a dunk right here. Definitely should have shot the three. I don't know what I was doing right there. Um... We have the ball. We cannot give up the ball again. We get another easy quick drop. He was playing me high on that possession, 20 to 13. I just can't give up the ball. Of course, he rips me. Like, bro, I have takeover. I have unpluckable max. I have a 94 ball. Now, look at He's clamped. What does he go to? The drop step. But this time, we got that thing clamped. You know what I'm saying? So he misses it. We get the rebound, 20 to 13. That's green, my boy. We got gold limitless. You better step up. 20 to 16. Now, 20 to 18. He knows he's in trouble now. It's not looking too good for him. And if he don't touch this ball, it's looking like a GG, obviously. So we hit him with the step back, get the easy quick drop again, and it's 20 to 20. And at this point, I don't want to give this guy the ball again, so I'm taking whatever I get. And we get the W for our last Galleon game. The Galleon treated us well, uh, you know what I'm saying, as a 6-1 guard. Not too bad. 
Anyways, I join my friend's stage, and we get a pop, and we got enough VC to play this stage. So you already know where we go to. We go to the 2.2K VC court, and as you can see, we are racking and stacking that VC. Come on, y'all know the drill by now. 1,800 VC, 2,200 VC. We get all types of VC out here. Uh, we going crazy out here, and I, I'm dressed up now. I got my suit on. I got my shoes on. I'm ready to hit this 99. Like, I'm ready to go. It's it's time we've grinded enough we've done enough look at me shooting eight for nine that game i mean we're locked in look at all these games flying by all the way to a 19 game win streak i mean we're streaking like it's nothing out here on the stage 38 kbc upgrading my rebound for the first time we're just gonna max it out max out the strengths max out the free throw max out the close shot upgrade the midi a little bit and that's gonna bring us to 98 overall all we have left is our mid-range everything else is max i mean this is insane and i decide to go back to the 3v3 court and get some more vc of course because why not we gotta hit this 99 we, we're this far into it imagine we getting this far and just not hitting like come on bro come on y'all know better than that we're going right back to the stage court okay so we're at 98 overall literally one overall to go look at how much vc we're getting right here we're just getting win after win on that on this day i made sure to play extra so i didn't have to play too much on the last day believe it get off the court 31 kvc that should be enough to hit 99 right guys yeah we should be going to go 32k just to get the midi from a 58 to get oh yeah okay it's going to cost 29 kvc to get a plus 12 mid-range and it's going to cost 31 kvc to get to 77 mid-range which would be 99 and look at us we're 374 and 60 tomorrow should be the day we hit 99 overall and look at our 1%, 86%, 63, 3.1 percentage. I mean, wow, that's, you got to admit, chat, that's impressive for this challenge. But anyways, one day to go. It's been the, or get our daily prize. A thousand VC! Yo, that is the most VC I've ever gotten from it. And as you can see, day 22, aka the finale day, started off good you know pipe was giving us 1500 vc as a farewell we get in vc from the daily check-in we're getting vc from the pick em. and i decided to start out in the galleon the, the last gameplay was or the last day was supposed to be my last day of the galleon but i started off today with no teammates so i was kind of getting concerned because we needed to make at least 30,000, 31,000 vc today to hit 99 overall so i was like okay you know, so we need to hit this so hopefully we do it. We got 5.7k VC right now. And we needed 31.7k to hit this 99. So I was feeling a little confident. So I decided to buy the Jordan Dunk package for the last animation we buy. Because at the end of the day, if you watched in the beginning of this video, I did say I picked an 88 dunk to get that dunk package. And you're damn well. Sure, I'm gonna see myself doing that Michael Jordan overpowered dunk package. Anyways, we get into the galleon, of course. Y'all already know we streak it up we ain't losing much out here we're going crazy it's the last day we have to go crazy okay we have to get in our bag we can't be losing much we gotta streak up we gotta go crazy in the galleon so we can go crazy in the stage okay right here we're up 21 to 0 oh my god where is he going all oh, the way easy dunk and i've been showing every just about every single game throughout this entire challenge and I, if you're questioning whether or not i did this legit we're going to show you the end all the proof in the pudding if this wasn't enough proof of this two hour video okay y'all make sure to drop a look at the video if you're still watching the video at this point in the video just comment loyal in the comment section if you hear this part of the video because some people might skip to the end but this isn't really like the end the end so if you hear that comment loyal in the comment section so i know who is watching at this point in the video but anyways you already know the drill we're getting about 300 vc per game at the galleon we get an invite from key six we don't have our center still because jay curry's not on still but we have 4.6k vc so i pick up my boy ltg who is a subscriber if you want to be like ltg make sure to hit that subscribe button okay look at me with the jordan dunk package jumping from the free throw line i mean this build's complete at this point i've bro broken ankles i've shot from half court I've jumped over people. I've gotten contact dunks. I've hit game winner after game winner after game winner. I've gotten a block. I've gotten a steal. Oh, uh, I, I, I've, I've gotten a dunk on too. Uh, let's just let's ignore that. that. That didn't happen. Okay. Nobody saw that. Okay, nobody saw that. Um, anyways, and now we're jumping from the free throw line. 
Like, come on, bro. And we spinning back. We doing all that. We just doing everything out here. We're on that 2.2K going crazy. And look at this team pulling up again. I mean, how many times did these dudes play us during this challenge and just lose? I mean, they must just like losing VC, I guess. Anyways, 9 for 10 on them. 19 points. Y'all already know we going crazy. Playing some more GOAT tiers right here. And like I said, we got to streak up. It's the finale. And not only are we going to be streaking up in the Galleon and now on this 3v3 court, I'm going to play a 2v2 game. If you've been watching this whole video, you know we haven't played a single 2v2 game. I'm going to go to that 5k court at the end here, and we're going to see what happens. Because, you know, we are 6-1, and most of the players in the 2s are 6-9s that just rim run the whole game. But uh, we're going to do that, and then the last game, we're going to play on that 5v5 court. So we'll see what happens. It should be interesting. Anyways... We're gaming again. These dudes getting dropped off. We're getting a little crowd here. 13 points on their head. Another win in the book. And we decided to upgrade a little bit. So we get to, what, a 72 mid-range. We have 22 KVC left. We have 8,000 VC right now. So we have 14,000 VC left to grind. So I go ahead, go to the 2,000 VC court, get a quick dub right here. Now, at this point, I'm trying to math, you know. I want to hit it on the right game on the 5v5 court. So we get 1,800 VC right there. We have what about 12,000 VC left to grind after this about maybe 11,000 on the dot almost so around there around 11,000 we go back to the 2250 court get a nice little dub right here to get some more BC and we are getting extremely close to this 99 overall y'all we get another win in the books those dudes damn near gave up at the end of the game and now we have 16k BC we're walking back on this dude. We passed out. Easy dot the key sticks in the corner. And that is the last 3v3 game of this challenge as we hop off 17.5k VC and we head to the twos core. I'm playing with key sticks. Can we win a twos game? I'm averaging 15 points per game. We're going against two high level goats here. Six nine demi gods. And this dude's back door me off rip. This is why I didn't play a lot of twos, because look at, they're tr they're literally deliberately trying to take advantage of my height. And this game favors height. Y'all know that. It don't matter what my stats are. I'm 6'1". Anyways, we go to the, we get a, we get a stop, right? Because he was trying to force the, the back door. We get a little two. We get an open three right here. We making that. So we all five to two. As long as we don't give it the ball, we chilling, right? Wide open dunk, seven to two. I'm literally one off takeover. Oh, uh, you know, we get another wide open dunk right here. I pass out. I don't know why I did that. No energy, wide open three that was kind of awkward, and I miss. So they force the back door again, and it works. So I'm like, yo, I'm kind of getting irritated. They force it again. He just goes up immediately, so brain dead. It works. And at this point, I'm fouling him on the back door, so he inbounds it, because I'm like, I'm just not watching that whole game, right? Go open three. I'm boxing out. I actually get the rebound, too. 70 rebound going to work. They double team me. Key six open for a three. That's a bang, bang. Come on now. 10 to six. We ain't take order. That's foul number one. Frustration foul number one because he doesn't know how to guard me. Frustration foul number two. He doesn't know how to guard me. I don't know what this dude's doing. Another layup, and he actually gets a block, but we get the ball right back. It's okay. I don't know why it was giving me a layup right there. Open three. Green. Y'all already know what color that is. 13 to six. We're eight points away. Another frustration foul. Come on, bro. Play some defense. I'm calling, telling Key Six to back door because these dudes are pressing like crazy. Like they are fiending for a stop. He does the same thing again. Like, what are you are trying to accomplish? Like, we're just going to back door you right there. 17 to six. That dude's got locked Taylor. It don't matter though. We're trying to walk back on him. Get an easy dunk right on his head top. 19 to six. Game point. Can we get this W? Dot the key sticks. He's going to hit me right back here. Catch and shoot three. Get him off my court. That's five racks. 5,000 VC added to the total. We going crazy. Okay. Actually, no, that was 2,500 VC court, but we got 3,300 VC from it. But it was a twos game. Our first and only twos game of this challenge. We are like, what, 1,200 VC away? I mean, this is insane. This is insane. We are one upgrade away, one mid-range away from getting 99. We hop on the 5K or the fives court. I don't know why this even exists. Uh, picked up a couple subs. If you're on this court, shout out to you. You guys are subscribed to the channel. If you want to be like them, make sure you're subscribed as well. So we start off the game. It's looking like this is a crowded court. Very crowded. There is 10 people on a three. What is supposed to be a threes court. You know what I mean? We give up an open three right there, but it's okay. You know, because I'm about to carry. And I'm already knowing they're about to double team me like crazy. So I call for the key six back door. He gets the and one. 
Three to two. We get an assist, right? I'm walking back on this dude. Loki cooked him with that. Probably should have shot it. We going in the paint and we going up on three people. Give me that. That's two. Give me that two. Four to three. I'm already knowing they're going to be feeding for stops. That's all walk back. And that's a, oh, we missed that? I mean, I cooked him, but I missed. I, I got to hit that. We going back three right over his head. Top 10%. No take. I don't care. Seven to five. We hitting it with the hop jumper going into the paint. That's an easy dot. Give me that green. Shout out to Vaughn with the green right there. 10 to five lead. I got takeover spin back. Where is this dude going? Hold on, hold on. Let's let's reset it. I got no energy. It's okay. The key sticks in the corner. Over those? 13 to 5. Come on, bro. We get another steal. Shout out to subscriber for getting that steal. Back out to me. I got takeover. You already know all the attention's on me. Everyone knows I'm trying to get buckets. But I'm like, okay, we're gonna take that L1. Oh my god. His ankles chat. Oh, I mistimed it, bro. It went in. Wait, what the f I mean, look at this replay. I clearly missed the dunk, but they gave me the points? Anyways, ignore that completely. 17 and 10. I guess 2K just knew I'm just that unstoppable at 99. We cooking this dude for the wide open lay. And now it's time for a game. 19, 16. I got no energy, but this is it. Vaughn for three. Hits it. And that should do it. The last game of the 99 overall challenge. We get our VC. It's time to hop off the court and upgrade. Oh, wow. Every single game has come down to this moment. And we're 180 VC short. Okay, it's okay. So we had to play another game, obviously. You already know we were going crazy. Walk back, green. Where are you going now? I'm not going to lie. This game, they were actually like quintuple teaming me halfway through the game. You see, I get a wide open dunk right there. So, you know, good thing we went crazy in the first game. Look at me. Getting tripled on that shot. We pass up the key sticks. Easy little three. I already know the vibes. 17 to 6. You see, I was on cold that last play because I was trying to get a three, but they were literally quintuple teaming me. So we were trolling a lot that game. But we got the W, and that should do it. 99 overall. If you watched all the way through this video, drop a like. That's the least y'all can do for y'all, boy. Because we grinded this challenge out legit. No my career. No money spent. Here is the last upgrade. The whole stage has been completely rented out for this moment. 99 overall. We got everybody marching behind me. Ready to see the upgrade. We're going to the progression. We're going to that mid-range. 4.5k. That's 99, bro. One mid-range upgrade. That's crazy. 99 overall. Let's, Let's get right, bro. We are officially 99 overall, y'all. I just want to give y'all a big thank you for watching all the streams that we did throughout this challenge and even watching this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I'm trying to get to 1 million subscribers as soon as possible. And just to prove that I did this challenge legit, here are the last 99 upgrades, of course. We showed basically every single game of this entire challenge throughout this video. Here's the end badges if you guys need that as well. But let's go ahead and look at the stats in my career. Look at I'm going to go play my career. It's, it's making me select my difficulty. Look at the date. I didn't play a single micro game. I'm going to show up on the screen as well. My my career stats, there's zero in every category. I didn't play a single micro game. I did follow the rules. And even look at my 2K card, 86 win percent, 63 three-point percentage. We had 460 games played plus the 33 prime games played. So like 500 and something games played. If you want to look at all the statistics, it's in the beginning of the video. 86 win percent in this challenge is crazy. Let me know if that's a WRL. I think that's an absolute W. Almost 90 win percent going through all those overalls with no bad is. Here's the final record as well. Averaging 15 points per game. So nobody can say I got carried in this challenge. I played the main position from 60 to 90 overall, scoring a more than half the points needed to get to 21 to end a park game. And we went crazy. Um, and as you can see, of course, 2K ends the video with an error code. I guess that was just meant to be. Getting me out of the stage as soon as I hit 99 with the error code. 2K didn't like that I literally got to 99 with no money spent. They didn't like it. So they gave me an error code. Make sure y'all drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the screen right here and watch this road to a million BC if you want to see a challenge similar to this. Anyways, it's been your boy Henry, AKWH. And I'm out of here, y'all. Love y'all. Peace.